So, uh, welcome to uh, episode 11 of the Daybotcast. Uh, this week, we got some more topics for you to uh, listen to. Um, as always, we'll be rolling them out in parts, um, Monday through Thursday, and then the full on Friday, and then you also get the full SoundCloud. Uh, link to SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, etc. are in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, is there anything else that we got coming up soon? Unboxings and vlogs. Um, just so, well, uh, today as of filming the video, uh, Nate just put up his uh, Dreamcatcher unboxing, so go watch that if you haven't already. Uh, yep. We should have a couple more unboxings uh, on the horizon, and um, tomorrow, as of, or at least as of filming this, uh, we'll be I'll be going to Jesse, and then the day after is Hyorin, so those vlogs should be coming uh, quite soon. So, cool. Alright, so I guess we can uh, get right into the... Uh first topic which not gonna uh, introduce us oh yeah i have, <laughs> I, I have a new thing got. that i was gonna do <laughs> all right all right all right, all right. Yeah, who so, the hell are we so in case you've never seen us before i'm joined by nate it's been a long time coming but we're here now <laughs> okay <laughs> and then andrew <laughs> hashtag jesse sexy and I'm Jacob, and I have no fancy, uh, <laughs> fancy introduction. You're, you're the host. Cause... You don't gotta introduce yourself like that. Yeah, I've decided so... to start taking random English phrases from K-pop songs and using them as an intro. Because so. last week I did uh, "We Like Sess Y'all." Wait, what was what, what was that one from Fire? From Fire, yeah. Okay. Like Sess Y'all. All right, so uh, yeah, I guess we'll go into it. now. We will go into our first topic, I which like you're uh, skipping over my thing that I wanted to start doing, <laughs> which is a uh, review of uh, Got Seven's new mini album, isn't it? Uh, it's Flight Log Arrival, right? Because yeah, the, which is the, the end of the, the Flight Log trilogy. Yeah, I actually thought that Fly. I thought it was called Flight. I thought that was Flight. Um, Flight. What? Flight Log. <laughs> um. Uh, departure but it wasn't and i was like oh i just didn't realize it until like yeah today. that 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 hard carry wasn't just like called something else flight log it was flight log turbulence so there's flight log departure and flight yeah, log turbulence. turbulence then flight this is flight log arrival so. oh okay so yeah. fly is flight log departure then mm -hmm. yeah because okay, on apple reason, music I, I they like, have it listed as fly yeah they have it listed as fly but it should be flight log departure okay. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that today too because I was looking at their stuff on iTunes. See, <laughs> that is what had me uh, <laughs> confused because I was like, I well, didn't I, think it was called Fly. Just as like a, a side note sort of thing, it's I guess it's, it's it's just really interesting to see how pretty much this whole they've released a crap ton of music just within the past year or uh, year alone because Fly was a lot, what? Of, a lot of pretty good music. Fly was like beginning of uh beginning or like around this time last year, so. That's they they've essentially put out like three mini albums or like two mini albums and one full album within the span of a year. So that's a, that's an insane amount of production just uh just from God Savage. So you know, props to them for her making all this music. Yeah. yeah. Well, um. Yeah. Because yeah, I think um. Exactly yeah, I think you're right. I think I th yeah, yeah. I was gonna say March. Um. It's March twenty first. Um. Uh, so. 20th. Yeah. Because so far, like, I'm I'm actually really. Uh, I guess this is like a. Uh, prologue or whatever I guess you call it um, to the actual review but Damn like it. so far I've really liking the uh, the title track so far I think they did a good job at selecting the right one and yeah. then they didn't have one on the album that you're like this should have been the, the title track like I yeah. think they I think they chose the right one for the for you know to go with so I tried to think of a pun but I wasn't fast enough <laughs> Did I ruin your joke again? Like every no, you time? didn't ruin it. I just couldn't think <laughs> of one fast enough. You just had time. to, yeah, okay. I was anyway. like, all right, so uh, I guess or something. <laughs> I guess when Nate, you... if you want to uh, go us, uh, take us yeah. through the uh, the track list as usual. Yeah, uh, before this though, I totally want to shout out uh, "Rollin" by Brave Girls. That song's fucking awesome. Oh <laughs> yes, so check it out. Yo, it, check it's, out. It's stuck in my head Rollin. right now. I hate it's you. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> that song is so... And the rest of the album's good. I mean, the album's only really three songs, um, but they're all really good. Because uh, it's three it's, songs and then a remix of High Heels uh, yeah, and then an outro. It's very American. Yeah. 
like the style. I think I think it's good. I hope I hope Brave Brothers uh, decides to go with more. Um, Yo, stuff save it. In this save direction. it for the end I of the like month. <laughs> save it yeah. for the end of the month. <laughs> huh? Save it for the end of the month when we cover that. Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. yeah. When we cover all the best. I just wanted to month. give it a shout yeah, out. Okay. Um. So yeah, we're reviewing. Yeah, seven those. <laughs> yeah. So without further <laughs> yeah, well, ado, now we'll start the actual review after our rambling in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So the title song is uh never ever. Um. It reminds me of two p.m.'s last song. A lot. Yeah. Actually, actually mm-hmm. I had the same thought. Actually. Um. It sounds like something that would have been like a two p.m. song. Um. You know. Again, late two p.m. Not their yeah. earlier stuff. Yeah, it's a it. You're starting to see a lot of it, this trend lately, where you they they're pulling from electro pop and house reggae sort of vibes. Like, like again, I think I mentioned it before, but this sort of uh, this sort of style came into vogue ever since uh, Major Lazer made Lean On. So pretty much, yeah, K-pop's sort of been uh, adapting that sort of thing. So that's I guess that'd be the, my Western equivalent for this song. Yeah, I think I think really the EDM styles are uh, like bleeding into everything, really. Mm. Which isn't a bad thing. I really like the the new like EDM style and stuff, like more like tropical and upbeat, or also like stuff that's more like <laughs> I don't want to use this word because it's ruined because people don't use it the right way. But dank, <laughs> <laughs> it's dank. Like yeah, you know what I mean. It's a like dank the feet. actual yeah, like dark and wet. Like I I, I don't know, but yeah, um, I I think it's I think it's going to be a big thing in the coming years. It's going to be like the defining sort of uh trait for the 2010s i suppose yeah because i mean I, we... I know before anyone before anyone in the comments or before anyone like on twitter says like oh this sounds a lot like i don't know like bts or like something like that the thing is though like well that I mean, might be direct true competitors well i mean yeah they, they are direct competitors and they do have a similar sound it's just that they're both influenced by this sort of same uh like uh, reggae house vibe. So I mean, it's not yeah. necessarily one group copying off of another. It's just and they're just the, everyone. It's just what's in vogue when it comes to um what like Western musical trends, and that's what they're trying to copy off of. So yeah, don't. I I know there's gonna be some. Uh, I know there might be some people that are concerned about that. Side note: I want BTS to go back to like r- hard rap rock, like they were, because <laughs> that's literally like what Dark and Wild is. Dark and Wild, that whole album's like a rap rap yeah, rock actually, album, no, that's, that's probably and it's my, awesome. That's probably my favorite album. Just I know it's my favorite album. My cipher, the, the cipher off that album is probably my favorite. Yeah, Cypher 3 is the best Cypher, Jacob. Uh, Cypher 2 is the best, no. purely because Rap Bond ripped shit up in that track. Um, <laughs> anyway. I like how this is just turning into oh, yeah, just BTS. arguing about BTS. Yeah. <laughs> please, sorry, please. Sorry to any no, I got yeah. sevens. No, no fandom wars. No fandom wars, please. Um, I, love, I love both of them equally. Anyway, get back to this title track. Um, yeah. If there's one thing I'd have to say is that I... Ten, I Maybe this is just like a really like big trend with me lately. I seem to like the verse better than the chorus, or at least the the songs kind of like kind of dies when it gets to the chorus, or it, it just doesn't stand out as much to me. But I, I, again, I love the beat. I think that's one thing that's sort of like a, uh, a reoccurring thing is the chorus tends to be like a weaker part of the song in a lot of newer music. Um, not always, just I see that with a lot of title tracks and like the trendy songs, I guess. Oh, like. Yeah. Uh, like that's what kind of like what our friend Brett was talking about in the chat. Like he always like is anticipating the chorus and then it just falls off. And Wait, because like, I think because again, you, when, if you're when you're adapting something from you know like an electronic music sort of standpoint, yep, the beat is pro or the beat drop or the chorus is probably the most important part. So that's what ends a, up being the chorus. Yeah, so that you that it feels like they need there needs to be a bigger emphasis on that sort of early at least the. A musical composition towards that part because yeah it, it, it kind of ruins the song for me a bit again I, it's it's an okay title track i think i probably still prefer i'd probably still prefer fly or even hard carry to to uh to this but i mean it, it, it it's still a solid song it's just i wish the chorus was better uh, huh. one thing i will definitely praise uh the title track for is the uh the music video it's so nice and clean i really like the white it's aesthetic when people do that i love that kind of stuff and also there's yeah. like an there's a nice little detail that it's called the whole theme is like flight log and they're actually wearing bomber jackets so <laughs> <laughs> just a little because yeah like uh bomber jackets didn't they, are, were, didn't they wear them and fly too yeah they yeah because bomber jackets are kind of uh the popular in thing fashion in, in fashion nowadays so <laughs> Also, I'm sad, but apparently Bam Bam is the reason we didn't get the JYP whisper. 
He didn't, he didn't want like it? it. Yeah, they. I guess he said in Weekly Idol or something, or they said that Bam Bam like requested to not have it. Oh. <laughs> yo, how much? Sad. Yo, how scared would you be asking JYP? I was anticipating. <laughs> yeah, how, how? Like, if I was Bam Bam, I'd be scared out of my pants to ask JYP not to add the not not to whisper on the track. Yeah, it's like JYP just goes full Donald Trump, and he's just like. You're fired. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> baby, you Bam Bam's like the be- Bam Bam's like the best part of uh, best part of uh, oh, God Seven. So <laughs> Again, okay. you just see it though. He's just on a throne. He's just like you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> yeah, JRP definitely sits on a throne. Uh, <laughs> he just sits there and just produces music. Yeah. Like he just presses a button and it <laughs> produces it a just hit. Produces it. Yep. <laughs> um. So the next song is Shopping Mall. Um really weird english <laughs> feels yeah, like shopping saying... mall doesn't make any yeah, yeah. sense at all like it might make sense in the context of the korean lyrics but not looking at the korean lyrics translation I'm, I, I, it just, I, I, it's weird sounding i'm assuming that the song is either about them like shopping for extravagant amounts of clothes because in the later part of the song they're like skinny black pants and like all this bling bling and all that sort of stuff so <laughs> maybe either they're shopping for themselves or they're shopping to well they say you're my something. girl a couple times yeah themselves. so they're probably they're probably like oh you're like my shopping mall or something or i don't know i don't know maybe I don't know. <laughs> i'd have to look at the korean lyrics but it, it just have, sounded out of weird out of context i have one question what the hell does a shopping mall feel like? Exactly. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Maybe, they, I don't know, there's a lot of variety in the person, or I don't know, they, they, there's a lot to like, and they they like clothes, or I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't mind the song. It's definitely oh, one wait. of my least favorite songs. Did you catch but... at the end? Did you catch towards the end? Bam Bam has a shy, shy, shy. Does he and really? This, yeah, he says shy, oh, shy, shy. Cool. Oh, he actually says it right in the yeah, track. Yeah, he says it in the that. track. Like if you, like clear as day. So I don't know if that's a twice shout that's out pretty or funny. I don't know. If well, we, I mean, well, it could be. It's, they're both out. JYP. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh... Plus, we all know Bam Bam's dating Mina now. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's just because they took one. one they took one selfie one together. Picture. Yeah. No lie. No lie. I chip it though. I chip it. Thank you. So, any other thoughts on the song? Yeah, it, I, I thought it was I. It was a weird song. That's all I have to say about it. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. But it's yeah, I didn't, just, like, I didn't you know, hate it. It's just it just generic, meh. I guess, kind of with weird English. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. With weird. Uh, next up's my favorite song, Paradise. Yep, my um, favorite the song. Instrumentals too. and this is awesome. It's like, so good. I think. I think this should have been the title track. To be completely honest. Yeah, I actually thought that too. Imagine how amazing the music video for this would be. Okay, I, I could see that. I guess if you go with music video standpoint, I think. From like I guess like radio play and stuff like that, I could see the title track performing better. Yeah, I guess that's just me like my thoughts on it. But um, yeah, that was actually that's this is probably my second favorite song in the well, album. Well, yeah, because probably probably because again the the chorus and the beat are paired well together. Again, as opposed to I guess what I think about um, Never Ever, where it's just and it kind of dies. But yeah, I mean. <laughs> and still, I think it would make a like, really cool music video because again, the whole like the whole concept is oh they're on a fl- they're on a flight or whatever. You could have like a whole like oh, airport yeah. thing and like you're maybe they're like, in, they, they yeah, arrive like, in paradise. They're like yeah, they, yeah. they go to Hawaii and you know like they're just filming like I don't know just doing random boy band stuff. They show up. They show up in robot future chrome Hawaii. <laughs> Everything's With robot. Chrome in the <laughs> yeah, robot unicorns everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I, thought the, I, I have the rights to that. The instrumentals are really good, and it really does fit the name of the song well. Like it really has that like tropical, yeah, like vibe to it. Again, yeah, this yeah. is like, it's what tropical, I really... uh, tropical like EDM and house stuff is really yeah, trendy yeah. right yeah, now. Again, like really... we heard it, we heard it in Taeyeon's, uh the hell cover up. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, even even kind of why was a lot like that as well, uh, just for Taeyeon and. Um, you know, also Brave Girls Rolling has it has yeah. it as well. Just yep. there's like tons uh, of it's yeah, it's them, really trendy them, right them now. Them island, favorite, them island favorite. vibes though. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. I can't remember the name. I'm looking up right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, some love from Red Velvet from uh, Russian Roulette. That's yeah. really similar to, which is my favorite yeah. Song um, I think in the American market, um, 
the guy who's like mostly known for the tropical vibes is uh, Kaigo. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, tertiary. Yeah, so um, like I haven't listened to a lot of his stuff, but I had a friend who uh, was really into him. So, but yeah, again, again uh, like with like Major Laser and you know Diplo, yeah, like, bringing that sort of uh. Because it's, again, they're fusing just, like, really, like, hardcore EDM with reggae and dance hall sort yeah, of yeah. vibes. So that's 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 sort of leaking its way into K-pop nowadays. I mean, yep. I like it. I approve. Because I think one of, the, cause one of the things that I really love most about K-pop is that it sort of, like, melds together the, like, J-pop and American pop. Mm. Yeah. And as well with its own unique stuff. And I, I think uh, sort of the diffusing of music styles is mm. um, what I like to see the most and what they do with it so yeah 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 i'm definitely i definitely approve of it because i seem to enjoy a lot of the songs that use it um next is sign which actually bothered me a lot why Um, it's just like the instrumentals part at the beginning and then it gets repeated later it has like a lot of upbeat and like it it didn't sound in sync with the music or with like the like singing at all like it's all sounded offbeat to me for like that part and then they repeat like it was, that part a couple like times. Like it was just odd. Like yeah, like like the like beat. Fit. The beat had a lot of upbeats and stuff, and then like the singing was still like on beat, so it sounded really weird to me. I don't know. I just, I didn't like the song at all. Uh, it was. I think it's a good song, mostly because this is the type of song that they perform live, and then they just take all their shirts off, and all the all like the thirteen year old <laughs> fan girls is just like it's it's that kind of song. It's, it's like they, intense they... body rolls. <laughs> That, it's a, that's it's a sexy the, it's, song. It's a song to make the uh, all the fifteen year old girls make the blood curdling screeks <laughs> that we all love. <laughs> no, definitely there was there was I heard more than my fair share of that during um during uh, the concert. PBS. Remember, yeah. So oh, yeah. Like well, when they yeah, when God they did was there too. when they did like right. girls, girls, girls. Oh boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh lord. Or and again, they were they were doing like they were doing like stuff like like doing body rolls and humping the floor or something. It was insane. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, no, again, that's I. I think that's I think that's a. Uh, I appreciate that a lot about uh, God Seven is that I see a lot. You can tell that a lot of their um, a lot of their album tracks tend to or tend to play well in a live setting or uh, tend to perform well in all in uh, during live concerts. So yeah, they're they're really good live. So I, I can't wait to see the promotions for this. Um, well, any more stuff about sign? Wait, no. didn't, um, wait, how, is, uh, this is sort of a tangent. How did, how is, um, oh, we don't go on those ever, so. <laughs> <laughs> how is the, uh, freaking, the title track, um, performing on music shows? Have they promoted yet? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, because, yeah, it's sure. brand new, so I was wondering if they've been on any yet. Yeah. Um, never mind then. Yeah, it's just, because, yeah, like, because I remember Nate, like Nate told ago. us earlier, uh, was it today or yesterday? One. Yeah, B two B beat like everybody yesterday, on show yeah. champion. So I was wondering if Got Seven was. Well, was twice came back and won today. So for uh, yeah, M countdown. Okay. But yeah, B two B won over like twice and Taeyeon and and BTS, BTS and G friend. That's uh, crazy. Yesterday, so. <laughs> it really is crazy because B two B has uh, recently been like. I don't want to say irrelevant because it's not that far. It's not that bad. Yeah, they're, but they're, they're I mean like, they're older, so they're not and they're not promoting a ton. So people like your yeah. fans don't really know them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, okay, so next is Go Higher, which is like hype, fire, and uh, like hard carry. Yeah, song. yeah, they, it, it kind of reminds me of uh, well, a lot of a lot of the boy group hype songs always reminds me of the Alive era of, of Big Bang because it, it it sounds like it fit in really, and I think this was. I think uh, Jackson had a had a hand in e- writing lyrics and um, oh, okay. production in this, so you can tell like cause he has all he has a lot of hard hitting verses in, in this song. So I think yeah. I think actually almost every member or for almost every song had some hand in production and uh, writing credits. So it's yeah, that's pretty impressive that they that the JYP is. Lo- I wonder if more. I wonder if this song's been around for a while because. Uh, he, because Jackson actually says like, I think he says it twice in his rap in Hard Carry in the beginning. He says go higher. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I wonder if it was supposed to be on Turbul- Turbulence. That'd be interesting. Yeah. But no, th- hmm. this song, this song's really high. I, I, again, this is a, this is a song that they perform live and like the crowd goes yeah, yeah. nuts yeah, for it. So <laughs> like, I, I need to see Got Seven again live. Oh, I really I, that was such an amazing concert. Like, I just oh, it was amazing. Yeah, I like the song a lot. Maybe they'll be at KCON. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. 
Well, they're Dude, not before the before bef- before that happens. We should uh we should make like KCON predictions later on. Oh the yeah, line. we should. You guys you guys can look forward to that months later. <laughs> yeah, they don't uh they won't be the ones that Toronto keep off gone. That's for sure. Yeah. Granted, we knew that because uh, their hint was. Uh, they don't sell at stadiums. They don't sell stadiums. Yeah. Well, did, didn't we already find out that it was B2B? That's what I'm saying. It's B2B. Okay. That got announced. Yeah. Now we're just waiting on the IOI girl group that shows up because I really hope it's one of them. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much any girl group because I'm just going to go regardless. Again, um, I'm going to go out there and predict it's going to be Goo Goo Don. I, I could see any of the IOI branches. I could see April. I could see Laboom. I could see pretty much any newer girl group that I follow. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't huge. Dreamcatcher. <laughs> well, Dreamcatcher is not. Maybe, music, maybe. Though. Yeah. Well, I mean, they could well, always they just make, cover. They could always just well, cover Maroon Five too. songs, and then yeah, everybody they would love it. Do. Well, that's the <laughs> thing is, like, Pristine should show up. Like, they have this album now, but I don't know if oh, they yeah. perform all of it. But yeah. they do a lot of covers. They did a lot of covers the past year while they were waiting for uh, Na Young and Pinky to leave IOI. Um. Okay. Back on track. <laughs> uh, next is Q, which all I wrote was generic. The song just didn't stand out to me at all. Well, I mean, if it stood out to me because it just it's a drastically different sound compared to the rest of the album. Like it's, it definitely is, yeah. Because yeah, it, it's more of a Sticks jazzy out. sort of vibe, like uh, sort of a slower song, as opposed to everything else is seems a lot more hype. Um, yeah. I, I think I, I liked it. I liked it. I think this is their second song that's only one letter. I got A and now I got Q. The, hey, the, they got Q the, and A. The lyrics, the lyrics kind of confuse me, like because the the chorus is just like I just want Q, like I, did they I just like, want Q. Yeah, like that's, I that's, just that's, want that's, you. Yeah, maybe. Are they, did, do they just want like you, or and they have a list for something? Do they want Q from Star Trek or something? Or I don't know. Like, uh, is there is there like a is there like a euphemism or like a, a speech the sort of thing in Korean that they want like, Sun Q? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the song though. Yeah. Yeah. It, now they have two songs. They got Q and A. Maybe they're spelling something. <laughs> Q and A. Come on. <laughs> no. Well, Q and A. Question no, no, and answer. No, 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 no. They should. Try, it'd be amazing if a group for um like through a span of like I don't know like five or six albums they just make single letter single letter um title oh. tracks periodically so that it spells out send news. <laughs> <laughs> how amazing would that be and just nobody realizes it well they got Q and they got A so they must be spelling Quake or Quack Quake the... Quake? yeah Quake the, oh Quake <laughs> like the game. I heard yeah, quake. quake I was no, like there's no A in Quake no Quake no Quake, quake. you know okay. like the game they yeah, just yeah, love yeah. Quake I got it I got it Earthquake um next up is uh Young Shim Upsaw or Don't Care mm-hmm. um I really like I mean this this fits with the rest of the album, but just like this whole entire album, the instrumental themes, like, like, like we were saying that EDM Young house Shimapsi. type stuff, like I really yeah. enjoy. Uh, Yogyam had production credits and I believe lyric credits on this as well. So yeah, again, prop props well, to cool, all of them for him. For, yeah, they. Uh, uh, hopefully this again. Hopefully we see more of this trend where they get to oh, in, we, in, yeah. be a lot more of involved in the production. It's been oh, definitely I- becoming a lot more popular. I think they common. see that people that fans love to see that and they yeah. just like eat that shit up so well, they like yeah, buy it because they want to support their bias is hard work yeah you know? and again it's it just goes to, it's proving just like how much more talented because again the biggest knock against most idol groups is that oh somebody writes a song for you and you don't like and like you're just performing someone yeah. else's yeah, well, yeah, I mean, but yeah, yeah. Like, it, like yeah obviously it's a it, Music creation is a collaborative process, but again, it's it's always nice to see when uh, you're able, you're so that you're talented enough to be able to write your own music, especially for yeah. especially for like a like a guy group or whatever, where you have to take into consideration like choreography and you know like how you vis- like present like the visual aspect of it. So yeah, yeah props to them. Yeah. I, I, I like I like this aspect of it. One thing I was yeah. kind of thinking about is I'm wondering if they're doing this so that they could maybe um, like sort of a small little thing to help them get into when they make their big play, whenever this is, is to get into the American market because people tend to care about it more here. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. like if like if the artist has nothing to do with the production, a lot of people will knock it. Yeah, like, they don't like, like it. Ah, yeah, they, they say it's like, oh, like, it's overproduced or oh, it's fake. Yeah, that sort or of thing. it's not about the music or, you know, stuff like that. Well, I mean, um, they, they, they have been touring for like the past year and, and currently this year they're doing another tour. So, well, I mean, it, it seems I, like they do want to break into the U.S. market. So I can see, well, I can see why they'd be more inclined to 
Well, I think they music. I think they have to break into the US market and I'll talk about that later on in this episode. So Okay. Foreshadowing. Um <laughs> so the the last last uh song on the album is Out, which is hype part two. Yeah, is what of, I wrote. <laughs> it's it's a really good uh name for the last track. Just out. out. So yeah. from what I've we from out. what I've read, this is the 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 because like during the song they say I'm out apparently that's like a sort of like inside joke between all of the the members so whatever they are on camera, <laughs> so they made a, an entire song yeah they made it. an entire that's song funny. about one of their inside jokes so during I, cool. a, a lot of somebody made like a video compilation I'll link it in the description but like they every time they they're just on, say like oh I'm out and they just leave yeah yeah so they're like they're like I'm <laughs> out and then the next person would be like two out and then the next person three out four out five out and then like <laughs> until they they all leave or whatever so it's just it just became a recurring thing that they do every time they're like recording like a video or like a V live or something so yeah it's pretty that's crazy that you, they they turned an entire inside joke just into a into uh like their uh the closing title for for their their song. I, I wouldn't. I would be surprised if this is what they close their concerts with from now on because it, it's a pretty hype song. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Um, any other thoughts? That was all the songs. Uh, no, I thought it was really. Other than that, though, I guess for as an album, I thought it was a really solid release. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was so, good. yeah so- uh, I I recommend it. Go buy it if you like it. Mm. Support God Seven. Yeah, yep. no, and definitely just check out all of their entire like the whole like flight log chronology because i think overall it's been v- really solid and i'd like to see you see you usually don't see sort of like a three-tiered project like or a three release project like this in k-pop usually you s- this is something that you see in like i don't know like metal or like <laughs> prog rock or something or yeah what, what i think of is like um uh like system of a down did a double release or um <laughs> Like Red Hot Chili oh, Peppers you mean did like, a double like release. Like a series of the yeah. albums. Yeah, 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 like where you extend the concept over a span of like a year as opposed to just like one comeback. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it'd be it'd be interesting to see if this catches on because again, they they wrote they wrote a lot of material for this. So it makes me it makes me wonder like, is there a lot? Is this just like they're not letting all this material go to waste, whereas other groups would probably write a lot of material for one comeback or one like. Uh, concept and then they'd only put like five songs in it and the rest of it just goes in the trash bin so it'd be it'd be an interesting sort of thing to like see and spread the spread out the releases like this because I, I and it it allows them to be again in the public conscience for a lot longer than just having a comeback and then just going away and then for for a while again where it seems like got seven's been uh been around f- for the whole year so yeah hopefully we see this more often yeah i don't yeah, think it was good if, thinking about it i don't think anybody's really done that um you know doing like a series of albums i think since shiny did it in 2013 well, i mean with like, uh Epic misconceptions High. of you misconceptions of me and then yeah. they package it all together as misconceptions well of bts us. did that with uh memories yeah yeah sure. but that's more to i guess to a lesser extent i think uh you know it's probably it's even more shiny. it's probably more of an extent to it though because they're mvs so yeah never mind that yeah, because BTS had that whole, like, wing saga yeah. with, with, like, I Need You uh, leading into Run, leading into oh, freaking Spring Day, I guess. I don't know. I, no I don't one. understand BTS's MVs. Please help me. No one does. <laughs> no one does. No Not one even Cooper does. does. Not even BTS. Not even BTS knows. They just do it. Yeah. yeah. Go, listen to God, go listen to GOT7. They're really good. Go support them. If, yep. yep. They need more fans. They got a lot of fans. <laughs> yeah, they need more like, of them. they're pretty popular. <laughs> they need more. <laughs> I mean, Big Bang needs more, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess on that note, we can go right into uh, topic two. Uh, Nate, I guess if you want to facilitate your topic, you yep. can do so. So I figured since we did uh, stage names last week, uh, we talk about fandom names this week. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. So I made a oh. list of like good and bad. I know a really, I know a really huh? bad one. <laughs> so yeah, I made a list of list of good and bad ones. Um, so I guess we'll just go through them, and you guys can chime in with ones you think of as well. So I, I just best, looked at a list best of fandom name in general. Best fandom name, so on. Well, so on's on there definitely, <laughs> which means wish. <laughs> if you don't know, it's wish in Korean. Yes. Um. But yeah, the top of the list, like it's one that I probably wouldn't have added if I didn't notice it what being at the top. But uh 
hundred percent fandom name is Perfection, which is really good. Oh, hundred uh, like percent for, for Perfection. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Well, um, you can't really top that. It's Perfection. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that was at the top of the list, so I just added that. Um, twenty one Blackjack is really good. Um, obviously, it's up for grabs now. <laughs> yeah, it's up for grabs <laughs> until Card takes it. Uh, but that was a good one for. I mean, obviously, like Blackjack card mm. twenty one. So. Yeah, twenty one. Yeah. yeah. Um, A Pink's is good. Uh, all these Pink I think is good. Pink pandas. Um, yeah, this like, uh, wait, it, where, it does, matches where does their the panda part come from? Just because they're like pandas. Just a mascot. Like, uh, we're A Pink. Let's just call them Pink pandas. Yeah, I don't know alliteration. I guess. Why oh not? yeah, alliteration. Yeah, that you know, PP. Yeah. Um, no pun intended. Block bees is pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you guys know it. Wait, well, uh, what is Block B's fandom name? It's uh, BBC, which is Block B Club. BBC, British. Yeah, <laughs> British broadcasting. Yeah, British yeah, that's what I was thinking. They, they, their fan club name is a British television channel. Yep. <laughs> okay. We so. should make we should make a uh, a K-pop group and then make the fan club CNN. <laughs> yep. What would it stand for? Um, it stand for CN Blue Nation. <laughs> Wait, what is, what is C- the CN Blue? I album? actually don't know what CN Blues is. Yeah, I was trying to look um, for that too. It's not on my list. So if one of you guys wants to look that up. Um, okay, well, next I have uh, FX, which is MU, which is MU, I, which is a Greek letter, and math. It's all Mi-U. that stuff. MU? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it took them freaking forever to get Yeah, they didn't get name. one for like, like seven years. but Like, why did they not get one after like two years? Because FX is decently popular. The only okay, reason... Wait. Sorry, um, CN Blue's fan club name is Boyce? CNBC. Boyce? B-O-I-C-E. The heck is Boyce? I don't like know. Boy okay, that's voice? on the bad list. <laughs> like Boy and Voice? Yeah, I like Boy and Voice, I guess. Like, Boyce. I don't know. B-O-I-C-E. Hey, I got, I got me and my boys. <laughs> Hold up. We the boys. <laughs> we the boys. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that one's not good. Um, Wait, what's, what's SES's fandom name? Uh, SES was just oh I didn't actually write it down it was I'm pretty sure it was just like friends or something it was yeah it was, <laughs> it was friends. friends it was friends it's friends well it's yeah, like G friend their their fan club well, no I was like just saying G friend next is buddy which is hilarious because they're they're totally uh, friend zoning all their fans like, <laughs> yeah you yeah that's your hilarious but you're our buddy but you're our buddies <laughs> oh, that sucks <laughs> dude that is so funny <laughs> yeah so I like actually why did, why, why, why couldn't list, it be yeah. boyfriend. <laughs> Because then, what about well, the Well, then what about the girl fans? Yeah. That's true. They'd just be different. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually, some of mine on my list for bad names are, like, that's one thing I don't like for bad names, is, like, when they make them gender-specific. Oh, or, like, yeah. So it's like, weird for, like, one gender to be, like, like, Tiara, like, queens. Like, I don't want to oh, be a queen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't so, want to like, be I don't want to be a queen. Yeah. Well, so but again, it, it, makes, it makes sense, because, like, it... Uh, does a, a king doesn't wear a tiara. It wears a we, I know, wear a crown. but like your fandom name, like doesn't. I don't want it. <laughs> you, you don't want it, your male fans don't want to be called hey. queens. I don't. I have no problem being yes, called a queen. queen. <laughs> and, that's um, all Andrew here is at his at his Yana concert. Yes, queen. Trap yes, queen. Hey. <laughs> uh, um. Uh. Girls' day is pretty good. Or just Daisy. Daisy. Um, the game. No, like, yeah, the game. <laughs> the zombie murdering. Um, yeah, because Girls' Day, all their came out before zombies. Girls' Day came out, like, way before <laughs> before the game. Um, But, although it's weird, because they stylized it with a five, and they don't have five members anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's they like, have four do members, and they're called Day 5 uh, So, I think they stopped, day, stopped stylizing it with a five, probably. Like, when are they going to learn that if a member leaves, it's just going to ruin anything that involves having numbers? Never put a number. Like, GOT7, imagine if they lost one member, then they can't well, change the GOT6. Well, Day6 lost a member. Yeah, Yeah, day so six. now they're Day6 and they have five, five members. members. Um, but I guess one that we haven't mentioned yet is EXO's uh, fan club name is XOL. Which I, I think... thought that was really lazy, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's like XO love, but... I, or they, no. Well, it's XOK, XOL, XOM. Yeah. They, or they, they, try to, order. they try to... Uh, and they, they're like, oh, XOL is a subunit. That's what they li- literally address, like, the fan yeah. club name as. It's a subunit. Yeah, that one's... Oh, yeah, because the fans it, are technically part of XO, because we are one. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, even though they lost like four months. So technically speaking, <laughs> so those, those, no, those people are part of XO. Everyone else in the world is though. <laughs> no, so, so technically speaking, I, if I on my resume, I can write that I'm a member of that. You're part of XO. Of XO. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like how you can I mean, write your. There was that one year that Time Magazine had. Uh, that, um, oh yeah, two thousand six. Yeah, everybody's you, the man yeah. Of the you year. were the, the person of the year, so you can yeah. write that on your resume. <laughs> That's funny. Um, next, I have Kara, which is good. It's Camilla, which is Camilia, which is like they took fam- family in Latin. Okay, and added car to the front. Car. It's kind of weird, but <laughs> it's good. Cards is gonna be amazing. Whatever it is, they have so many good choices. I still, be want, I still want hidden. No. <laughs> Yeah, dude, see, seriously, it's got to be either Hiddens or Dealers. Or Dealers, yeah. I feel like they're going to take a vote or something. Uh, that seems to be the thing. Uh, I, I, I think I read that Dreamcatcher was taking a vote, so it seems like... All right, all right, all right. The internet meme team out there, if they make it a fan vote and you can submit like the name... Oh, God, it gets rated. Cardi McCard Face is going to be their is gonna be their fan club name or something weird like that. They, they won't make it submission-based. They'll give like three options. They're going to call... Um, size, pretty good. Psychos. Like, okay, yeah, psychos. Psychos, which is pretty good. Um, I've never actually met a psycho before. Like, like an actual a psycho or, psy? or a, a fan of psy? no, like a fan of psy, like <laughs> oh, a fan, someone who's specifically a fan okay. of psy. Like I know I think everybody it, I likes psy. I think it's psy, a good idea. But... Yeah, he, yeah, it's just kind of like he's just someone that everyone likes, but nobody like hardcore stands. Yeah, yeah. he's really fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, he um, also like doesn't come out with music that often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, he comes out with music every once in a blue moon. So it's it's really hard. It's really uh, hard to be a, a psy stand. So his yeah. album was really good though. The last one he came out with. I don't think I've ever listened to anything off of, other than his like titles, like his MV songs. Mm. Yeah, same. Um, rain is clouds. That's clouds, rain, rain yeah, and clouds. Pretty good. Clouds drive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're all, everyone can be Final Fantasy characters. Shout out! To, oh, shout out to Cloud, the the girl I met at uh, <laughs> the girl I met at Hina. Her name was Cloud. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then you put a picture of Cloud up, which was hilarious. <laughs> um, we didn't mention. Sh- we didn't mention twice, which is just once. <laughs> once. Oh. Once, twice. Yeah. Once, twice. And then their fans, and then their their fans an- named their haters thrice. Well, yeah, I was going to say anti-fans are thrice. I think that's the first oh, time I've the, ever seen an anti-fandom thr- get a name. Thrice? You mean like the the like the, like the the post-punk group thrice? <laughs> that's what I think of. I've never heard of them. You've never heard Me of neither. what? <laughs> thrice neither. is a... Th- thrice is... That's like a pretty like influential group in like rock music. Anyway, but... Has it, wait, they actually took they actually took the effort to name their well the, the well fans twice did, did once like, is, once did yeah once named them thrice but why the thrice why couldn't it just be like zero or something or it could have been anti fans named themselves I actually could because yeah. I think I read because the they're better than twice named themselves thrice thrice well, it's so easy to name them that too because it's once twice and then it goes on forever so yeah um Chinese pretty good. Shawl, shiny world. Shiny world. Shiny world. Yeah, 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 I don't Um, know how. Yeah, it's just a weird pronunciation, but Shawl's pretty memorable name. Yeah, exactly. Um, Or or in Japan, Japan, it'd probably be shiny (laughs) world. Shiny (laughs) world. World. Yeah. Sisters, I just found out today, but it's actually really clever. Um, So it's star one, but so in Korean, that's star ill with like style. It's supposed to be like style. Star, style, yeah. style, oh, style. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's star cool. one. Because the oh, way you okay. say star in Korean yeah. sounds like style. Um, oh, I thought, it, I thought it had something Arl to like do what? with like sister or like brother or their, I don't know. I thought they'd play off of their name. Yeah. But then there's sisters another... who are stars. Um, Uju Sonyo's is really good. Um, Ujung, which we found out is friendship, but then is also an abbreviation for space station. Oh yeah, like, that's, that's right. really really clever. Why why yeah, is the cool. name of space station like friendship? <laughs> well, no, it's an, it's abbreviation. an abbreviation. So okay. space station would be like, like ooh, that. blah blah blah, jung, blah blah blah. Okay. So they they abbreviate it. The Koreans okay. use like uh, um, this first syllable. The yeah, I'm trying to think. I can't think of the word now. Uh, abbreviation. Not abbreviation. No, it's Japan. Acronym. Japan does the same thing. Acronyms. Acronyms. Yeah, Koreans use like a, a, the equivalent of acronyms a lot. Um. So it's basically like an acronym of space station. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, then, I have I have a bad one. 
What? Um, for Super Junior, it's just Elf. Elf. Everlasting, Everlasting Friends. Everlasting. Elf. Well, I thought it was Pam. Is it Friend or uh, Pam? No, it's Everlasting Friends. Oh, it's Friends? Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, um, I feel like it's just because they're like, yeah, let's make kinda, something in English because it sounds cool. We've kind of yeah. like, we've kind of, uh, tiptoed around the most obvious one which would be bts army oh they're on my i'm, I'm yeah I've got that's one more on my good list i got one more on my good list and then i'm getting to the bad Ooh, yeah, that, you don't like is, army? Well, no, i'll explain why army is bad okay once again. well it's, it's the but, most like lazy fandom name i don't well, know no, how it wasn't so taken not, already no, it's an acronym oh it is it's, it's an acronym see, that's see. really bad yeah that's why oh god bad. army would be fine if it was just army but the fact that it's an acronym but so my last for good ones is wonderful uh, Wonder Girls, fandom name. Oh that yeah, that's good. that's a really good one. It's obvious, but it's, it's not obvious, like but it's, <laughs> it's not, not just like yeah, taking a word. One, not bad. <laughs> um, four minutes. Fornia is weird. I that, I don't know. I don't like Fornia. Fornia? It's it fornia. sounds like you're saying like horny. Four yeah. minute mania. It's, I think of fornication. Yeah, fornication. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, he's. I don't know. Like, I don't know if they're trying to imply something in terms it's, of the it's fan base. Fornication. But... <laughs> That's what I think of. Everybody that would have been, that, that like, that been an weird. amazing fan club name if, if Four Minutes <laughs> Fan Club was named Fornication. <laughs> no, I don't Dude, know. That would have been way better than. Fornication. Yeah, I don't know if we would have um, been able to get away with it, but I mean, I, I don't think I don't know if most Koreans would understand the context of the word fornication, but no, like, oh, I'm a fornication. I love fornicating. <laughs> yeah. I'm a huge fornicator. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do at a four-minute concert. You fornicate because you're a fornicator. <laughs> oh, that's gonna get taken out of context. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <it> was. <laughs> um, AOA's is another bad one. It's Elvis because they're not that's a band anymore, song. so it just doesn't make any sense. Like, Wait, sure, it was they a named, debut they song, named their but... they named their group their their fan club name after a song. Yeah, well, they named it after Elvis, which is the song is named after which was because they were a band idol group and now they're not a band anymore so it doesn't make any sense yeah um so i don't like that one uh bts so army stands for adorable representatives mc for youth yeah what, <laughs> exactly. what does this mean Why? Really <laughs> like it, it, it makes more just pretend it doesn't exist and just call yourself just army call them army army would be a great band name band yeah again name, i'm surprised but, it wasn't taken but the fact that it's an acronym for that what <laughs> it you, you could, you could tell they were really trying they were really desperate to make an acronym out of it just, yeah. just so they could use the word army because they're like, holy shit, nobody used it yet. <laughs> just you call them army. Yeah, you, like, you, there's, people would understand. You don't, There's no need to... An adorable representative for MC for you. What is or that MC even? for youth. Yeah, like what does that even mean? Actually, I have a uh, I have a question. Do you guys know where the word Stan originates from? Yeah, we uh, talked about it in like episode one or two because I didn't. Well, I mean, yeah, so Stan, like, you know, like, like oh, yeah, Eminem like I'm standing thing. a group. Yeah, it's because the Eminem uh, song Stan. Yeah, Stan. Like crazy which is fan. Why, probably, like, yeah, my his favorite. Name is Stan. Probably one of my favorite Eminem songs, so. Yeah. So, like, uh, I'm not sure if he, if his fans are actually called Stans, but. Uh, I don't know if like, fan people just names. ended up using that because, yeah. Oh, I see it, no, because I, I see it a lot in. I see the, the phrase used a lot in hip hop, which is kind of funny considering that yeah. it kind of leaked into K pop because those are completely opposite world or completely opposite ends of the spectrum. So. It's kind of interesting though, because I find that uh, most people that are into K pop, like they either got in through because uh, they're into hip hop first and they just like that sort of stuff, or they're like people who are into like hard metal and then they get found yeah. cutesy K pop yeah. and they like okay, it. Yeah, because yeah, like, it's, like, it's a guilty pleasure for most people. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I always liked pop music. I just didn't like American pop music because the lyrics are horrible. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like if I listen instrumental pop music, I would I love, but um, so that's why. Uh, next I have God. Their fans are fan God. Oh, God. Which, like, what fan, fan God, God is the name of their fans? I, yeah. I don't... So they're just fans of God. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Fan of God. Not creative. Uh, yeah, they should have been like worshippers. <laughs> like that would have been genius. Well, didn't they have a thing where they'd wear like the uh, freaking like whole get up with the uh, um, the cloak, like a freaking Sith cloak in one oh, of really? their? Yeah. I, I think it was in their. I think it was in their debut. It's like freaking Monty Python with the. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Funny. That, I'm sure that that ruffled some feathers in Korea. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sure <laughs> if, if naming your group God wasn't enough of a... See, that's, something, enough that's of something I've been thinking about randomly because I've been listening to Shiny discography is like, did naming a song Lucifer piss people off? Like Christian? Yeah. Or like, yeah, are I'm any wondering. of them Christian? Do they yeah, ever, any of them that's have true, like that's true. adverse I mean, reaction to having to sing a song called Lucifer? That's true. But I mean, at this point, I... I I, I I kind of forget about like the the, the satanic Christian. connection. Yeah, yeah, same. Because it's just because you, you, just because Lucifer is just that memorable of a song, you yeah, don't really think of the satanic good of a song. But and I it, like it was first pitched to them. Like if any of them were Christian, they might have just been like, "What the hell?" Like, and for a song, well, like, it's, song it is saying Lucifer. though that it's saying like the girl is evil, like her whisper is. Yeah, Lucifer, yeah, that's true. So. But I mean, yeah, but for, for the music video though like is it's in, like it's tempting. It's, it's pretty upbeat for a song that has to do with. Uh, <laughs> That, that, or the, the, the title is Lucifer. You'd think it'd be a lot darker, but then again, that's yeah. just shiny in general. Um, last Chinese one fantastic. I have on my list of bad is I Got Seven, which is just weird. I Got Seven. Like, yeah. I'm an I Got Seven. Like, what? Like, it just grammatically doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind no. of a weak fandom name. I'm sorry. As much as I love Got Seven. I, no, yeah. not Nothing to any of these groups. Like, it's just we love <laughs> BTS, but... Then, love got seven we they're just bad names they're just yeah. bad fandom names i think i think it ends up happening because of like lack of understanding of english yeah and yeah. almost and 99 uh, of, of like the company executives that come up with them because it might not actually be the members that come up with it yeah yeah not and always a, and almost every fan group fan uh club name is in english so yeah, yeah. I, are there any are there any fan groups? well so on well, I mean, yeah, but like they, it's still it's still spelled or uh, S O. Well, it's spelled with a like, heart. It's it's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's because um, it's two O. Yeah, the two it's O's not make a heart in Korean. Uh, uh, did yeah, we I don't one... know if there are any spelled in Hangul. Yeah, that's. Well, so, did we mention um, Wonder Girls? Huh? Did we mention Wonder Girls? Because there's just, just yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. That one's good. Oh, yeah. Um, one thing that's kind of. Okay, I was gonna say one thing about uh, so on. <laughs> It's just kind of cool because each of the girls, they sort of... Well, actually, I've only seen Taeyeon and Tiffany do it. Um, personally, the like, I'm matter. sure the other ones do, but <laughs> it's not true. You I not say that. Don't say that. <laughs> You're going to piss Nate, someone I'm off. Gonna start a, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start flaming you in the comments. I own, like, every album video. they've ever released, so I, <laughs> I can make jokes about SNSD. No, but I'm just kidding. Yeah, but Taeyeon does, like, TY so on. Like on Instagram yeah, yeah, yeah. for the hashtag like Taya and so on, and uh, which and then uh, like Tiffany does M Y so on, so like my so on, mm-hmm. but M Y is me young, yeah. yeah. So it's so, like Su Young um, could do oh, S Y. Did we, we didn't mention V I P. Oh, yeah, 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 Big Bang V I P. Yeah, that, that's a that's um, a cool yeah. name. Uh, Blackpink's is good too. Blink, it's Blink. memorable, easy. Like, but it's, easy it's, to remember. it's like Blackpink. Yeah, yeah, it's like but, a, but it was cool. I, I think I made a joke on the Reddit thing. I was just like, "Do they? They must. They must like Dota two or whatever." <laughs> blink dagger. <laughs> Cause the blink. Blink dagger in Dota two. Uh, for those that know. So uh, last thing I was thinking for a couple of groups, I couldn't think of too many, um, but groups that don't have fan names. If we could think of Red good Velvet. ones, so like Red Velvet, like what? What kind of fandom name do you think? Well, there's have? the obvious one, there's Cupcake. Obvious, but like they Cupcake hate or that name. they hate yeah. that name. <laughs> or ice cream, <laughs> sure. something like that. Yeah, um, you I know what? Like, it's too cute. It had to be like something really cool. You I know what bothers like. me though? So I guess this might be another tangent, but you know how they have they have uh, like fandom names and then the colors associated with it. Red Velvet's yeah. color is not red. It's like lavender it's purple or something like that. Wait, Red Velvet's color <laughs> is? Yeah, because apparently another group took red already. So yeah, TVXQ did. Hold on. They couldn't um, do like maroon, like actual yeah, red velvet color. They could have done. They could have done like this color or something, but <laughs> like a fluorescent red. But um, yeah. One that a suggestion that I saw on the internet once was. Oh wait, no, uh, no, 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 Rebel, no, no, no! It's it's, it's like coral. Rebel. It's coral pink. Eh, Isn't that's fine? Yeah, it's okay. But anyways, um, yeah. One suggestion I saw for red velvet's uh, name would be Revel, like. And it's, but in Korean it would be pronounced like rebel. Revel, okay. yeah. But the problem is that's already taken. Yeah, it'd be spelled with a V instead because Revel. Yeah, Who rebel took it? and rebel. Yeah. But it's already taken by Dean because his his fandom name is oh, Rebel. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so then they can't use that. And then but we've talked card, about card a lot. Card hidden. 
hidden with the sure. capital D. Or the healers, second DSP capital. But hidden, <sighs> hidden's the number one in my mind. Like that's genius. Yeah, because like um, the fans are the hidden. Or the they're just the D. And then we could say we're part of EXO and Card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On our resumes. Um. I was, yeah, I couldn't really think of too many other groups that like bigger groups that didn't have fandom names. What's Miss um, A's fandom? Now uh, it's, it's like, say a, it is fandom. which isn't that great. Say, say, a. say a. Oh. I guess it's just a JYP problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fandom names. Yeah. yeah. Well, wonderful is good. But yeah, wonderful is okay. And once is good. Yeah. So once he's he's got a okay track record. What um wait what about two p.m. What is theirs? Uh, two p.m. is hottest. Oh yeah, hottest. I forgot which about makes that. Sense. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Which makes entire sense. Two p.m. Because two p.m. are the hottest. Is that yeah. why? <laughs> oh no, they they oh. say their fans are the hottest. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, and no, that, that's a cool thing you can say. I'm I'm a, I'm the hottest. <laughs> you just oh, go around telling people that. How do we miss it? This was like one of the main ones. The reason we did this topic. Dia is aid. AIDS. 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 <laughs> So yeah, I, was, I forgot to say that. Yeah, yeah, I said that in the beginning that I had a really bad one. This was it. AIDS. Yeah, AIDS. <laughs> yeah like oh, AIDS no. is the name. But like we if you put AIDS. plural, it's AIDS. Yeah, so like we're AIDS. I'm we, AIDS. I'm like, AIDS. Like, again, just to, like <laughs> if they ever go on like a concert, it's like we love AIDS. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just really If they bad. make a song. Like, Dude, if they, go on, if, they go on, <laughs> if they go on after school club. You gotta get somebody to say somebody to say we love AIDS. I don't know if Jamie or like Kevin would Jamie. Let them that <laughs> yeah, happen. they'd be like, no, no, don't do no, that. don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> Either that or they just like be like, <laughs> yeah, or they just burst out laughing. Uh, so yeah, that's. I mean, unless there's other groups that you can think of that don't have fandom names that we could come up with. I guess well, another one, a new one would be pristine. And oh yeah. Good ideas for pristine. Crystal clear. Just kidding. That's no. Their fandom name. Their fandom just, name is the name of. Their their fandom group. name should just be this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just be this because. <laughs> their, their fans are just called okay. Yeah, or just like because it's just like oh, that's all you oh, gotta do. Oh, that's all you gotta okay. do. Um, Pristine. What if they call it? I don't, I don't know, know pearl <laughs> like just pearl yeah pristine i don't know pearl. i was trying to think of something that is, is usually called pristine no the, their fan club name should just be ioi yeah. <laughs> 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 I nate, nate cries every time he sees uh, uh, ioi's I fans I were really good too producers that was just a good one for oh, yeah, po1 oh i thought yeah. he should i thought he'd just the, be the nation's like producer agony or, like... or something because they're all like you're complete <laughs> agony because it doesn't exist anymore why um but yeah that was a that's that was my topic. Mm. All right, so who's next, me or Andrew? I don't remember what the order is. Ever. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter anymore. Just pick one. All right. Um, I guess I'll go. With, I guess Andrew can go first because mine's a pretty serious topic. So I guess we could just save that for last. Uh, okay. So um, my topic is since again I've been going to a lot of concerts lately. Uh, last week I went to, or as of filming this. Last week I went to see a King of Masks Stinger live show in newark new jersey so i kind of went in blind because i've only really watched partial like mostly clips of king of mass singer online. so i only knew so much about or I, I knew the basic premise of the show obviously where or for those that don't know um king of mass singer is sort of a music elimination show in which they invite a bunch of famous singers to compete and so yep. they, they compete head, head to head and um they're, they're all wearing masks so that you can't tell or you're supposed to judge them based solely off their voice and you don't re- you don't reveal who your what your identity is until you get eliminated so I went in expecting that um yeah it's got a similar like um I guess uh advantage to it that like the voice does yeah where you where, just, like the people are, where the around. judges are turned around so they don't know who they are but in yeah. this the, the actual singer is covered up so you don't know who it is um and it's a lot of fun, like, guessing who the singer is. Yeah. If, if it's, like, a well-known one. Like, yep. I know, like, Sahyan was on there. Um, I was really surprised. Mithric Jin from Epic High, which you can see him right here. Yeah, which came out he, of nowhere. <laughs> he was he was singing on there. Um, Solji from EXID, I saw hers. Saw a bunch of people on there. It's cool. Yeah, a lot of people go on it. Um, and, yeah, it gets rid of the, like, whole popularity vote aspect of it. Yeah. So, if, if someone's way more popular than someone else, then they don't necessarily have an advantage when it comes to getting eliminated. Mm. So as it turns out, 
this was none of that. <laughs> the whole concert was none of that. So I don't know. Like I don't know if exactly what's gonna happen with um or if Can maybe you guys it was just do this. What? No. No. Okay. There's somebody screaming down the hallway about ping pong. <laughs> ping pong. He's uh, like, hey, you want to play ping pong? Uh, Bring your note, own paddles. So, uh, side note: Go watch. Uh, there's an anime, a really good anime called Ping Pong. The animation that I've been meaning to get around to, but I hear it's like what? insane. No, <laughs> is no, 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 it really no. a ping pong anime? No, 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 no. no. Like, like, it sounds ridiculous, but the whole anime is kind of just like it's a character drama as opposed to like being actually about ping pong or whatever. So it's I'm, like uh, Prince of Tennis. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like, like Prince of Tennis. But yeah, it's like Prince of Tennis with ping pong. Anyway, um, is, isn't there also a basketball anime? Uh, but yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> they start him screaming that. Time. <laughs> Don't worry, these make yeah, these make for good screaming about ping pong. In these the make for good end cards, like I did, like I did this week. <laughs> so, uh, okay, anyway, I apologize to the viewers. Anyway, um, so yeah, the concert was none of that entirely. So as it turns out, um, how they would, how they ran the show or the the concert was, singers would just come on, and then halfway through the song, they just take off their mask and then reveal who they were, or they'd hold they'd perform a song with the masks and then then the the host would interview them. And there was one part where one like because they were mostly it was mostly solo, but some of them. Um, did like duo collaborations and it was funny because there was like one part where one uh it was like two guys i couldn't i forget which which pair it was but they were obviously yeah. trying to mask that who they were so one mm-hmm. of them was speaking in a voice like this just really high <laughs> it, was, it was really That's hilarious every time every time he spoke or he was just like trying to like mask that he had like a really deep voice or whatever so um i have, I have one question about it um how were the masks were they like nice like they are in the show or i was they kind of like just half ass like ah, where this isn't gonna be. No, some of the masks, anyway. some of the masks were pretty interesting. It's just that it was very hard for me to tell because I was sitting in the nosebleeds. Because for oh, those that don't know, NJ Pack, our New Jersey Performing Arts Center, it's an opera house mainly. So opera houses, they don't go outward. It's just um, it's just like a flat section, and then it goes straight up. Yeah. It so up. yeah, um, I was above the chandelier. That's how. That's yeah. how. Oh my god. <laughs> that's how high up I was. Like I was looking down on like them. So at first. Uh, so the environment was pretty interesting considering um like i guess like the my my ultimate takeaway from this is that it wasn't really a k-pop concert it was just a korean music concert where yeah most of the people going were just korean like older like korean like couples or korean families um uh, there were a bunch. There were there were some like like n- like obviously foreigners like myself or non Koreans like myself uh, that went there. Did you see King of Masting? You're like, ah, why not? <laughs> yeah, there was like I remember. I specifically remember a girl wearing like a BTS shirt, and and I was just like, yeah, <laughs> like hoping she was hoping G-Man Jungkook shows comes up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I it, it was not gonna like, happen. Like you could see, like first of all, like the show was four hours long. It was really long. <laughs> I have did, you ever been to a concert that's that long? No, that's probably the longest concert I've ever been to in my entire. And I've been oh, to, man. I've been going to like decades worth of concerts at this point. So, um, after like after like the third hour, you can tell that most of the like non Koreans, because uh, the the set list or like the 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 list of performers was mostly older Korean singer, like pre. K-pop pre Hollywood wave uh, singers essentially, Same, where it's just yeah. a lot of older. It, again, it appealed to an older crowd. Again, I went to, I essentially went to the equivalent of like an old timer show, <laughs> except for for, Kore- for Koreans. But um, again, it's a, it was a vastly different environment, so I kind of felt like a fly on the wall in a sense because I was just, it's just really interesting observing like, again, like how like a lot of like just like korean parents or whatever just like enjoying the show like it's much it's much different from how a k-pop show is like it's much different, different from a bunch of screaming 15 year olds <laughs> yeah yeah so same, what would you say was the average age of the room like maybe like 35 40 45 50 oh because it was it was mostly it was mostly adults and parents so and That's i mean like cool. a couple a couple kids like or like so or like, like a couple family. college kids yeah, it, it seemed to be mostly a family event, so, yeah. In, that's, that's pretty cool, though, that they came here for, I guess, mainly, yeah, I guess, yeah, cause the it, Korean-American it's, it, it, Yeah, it's, it's, a pro- it's a popular thing for just, like, again, like, you, you sort of bring that, you sort of bring that taste of uh, the homeland over here into, over here in the States, so I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it was a giant nostalgia trip for a lot of, uh, a lot of the, the older Koreans older. in the crowd, but um, anyway, getting to the, 
getting to the actual list of performers again it, um quite frankly i didn't know who anyone that performed was so i need I was, like during the concert i had to like google who everyone was because i didn't really know who they were so i might have had some of the or there was one that i did not get the name of at all and so i recorded a vlog of it but i don't know what i'm gonna do with it exactly because um again i i need to find out what all the names of the people are and what the songs are so that might take a while because i might wait until it's actually they were talking about it being filmed for mbc america so maybe i'll just wait for that to come out before i do anything but yeah i'll probably let this sit on the back burner because we've got a lot of other uh concerts to worry about right now but yeah it's not nearly as like time sensitive back towards channel. our our demographic that channel is that channel's not even Jesse. Yeah, but like that channel is not even offered <laughs> anywhere near me. Yeah. Oh, NBC America. Yeah, no. We, yeah. We can't get that anywhere in Michigan. Well, like, cause yeah, like I'm talking, like I was talking to a friend, like she has like Mnet on her TV. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, no, I think I think Verizon FiOS offers Mnet. Okay. So, or and obviously we if have- you could, if you buy, you can buy a special Korean package. But obviously the all the channels are going to be in Korean. It's not the yeah. it's not the English. Well, it's, it's for the immigrants. Yeah, basically. or yeah, it, but yeah. they yeah I don't know I don't know if there's that many um. English language like k- Korean uh, sort of There's channels. There's only Arirang. I was gonna say so. Arirang is the only yeah. one I know. Wait, they they do they show uh, is Arirang offered here in the United States or? I'm I not sure if it's too. offered here, but yeah. it's in Seoul. Yeah, I know yeah. it's in Seoul, but yeah. anyway, I, so the first person to go up, I think his name was the one. Like that's just his name. His name is the <laughs> one. Uh, yeah. Like the one. Like no, it's like no, obviously it's just the word the. I don't think. I, I don't think it was that I, was, I don't think doing duh was popular in like by the time well no around. that's how that's how Koreans they don't okay. have a th sound okay yeah, so like for, for like duh. for like the arc it's diaku oh okay but yeah it, he was from what I can remember he was pretty good again a lot for a lot of the <laughs> musical sort of uh, opinions all I have to say is again it's a ballad or it was just a lot of it's just a lot of just it's like a ballad. Really, yeah it was just a lot of like ballad songs like it's just andrew and his vlog joke. it's just andrew and his vlog like ah it's a ballad it's a ballad yeah. that's your vlog yeah it's eight minutes long it's just like every song yeah it's a ballad skip yeah. to the next one yeah uh, or a lot of the songs were ballads and some of them were um, co- i forget again i really don't know who the names of these people are so it's really so but again one of them one one artist did a cover of uh, "Breathe" by Lehigh, which was really good. Oh, I just didn't song. know who. I just didn't know who yeah, it was no, done who the by. Artist was. Yeah. Yeah, because so the first half of the song was again when they were before when they were reveal revealing themselves in the masks was covers, and then the second half of the concert was them do, coming up individually and doing their own songs. So yeah, again, it's logistically you we would I, I you couldn't expect like big names to come here yeah, yeah. The i mean States. at I'm- this point uh like all these artists have probably already reached like you know the peak of their careers they're probably yeah. just taking whatever gigs they can get yeah you yeah know, just keep themselves busy yeah so it's it, at least it's so- nice for them to like to like to to offer like pre K-pop explosion sort of people and a chance they come over here to the and, and yeah, yeah. before K-pop exploded this is the most this sort of thing was much of the extent of anything Korean in terms of like music, like music. concerts yeah where yeah. that's I guess that's how it yeah that's how, that's how it is in like when it comes to I know like just from like first hand knowledge that's how I know how it is in like Filipino culture where basically it's just like a it's just like a convention where like Filipinos go to which is just like watch like <laughs> famous Filipino singers like there's no like fcon or like f pop con yeah. or something like that or yeah it's yeah, just um it really it, it, it was it, like it's mostly just like again really insular to like the korean community and it didn't really it wasn't really like exploding outside of it i mean uh like it's kind of interesting s- seeing like pre hallyu like korean music because like even yeah. when hallyu was just starting like for like Korean American kids to see like K-pop, they'd have to see like SES on like a VHS tape or whatever that's imported yeah. from Korea. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's pretty. It's, yeah, it's pretty. I'm sure it was an, uh, a sort of learning. Ex- yeah, I'm pretty interested to see what the or the, what the opinion was of the Korean like kids that are like my age because again they, they they probably grew up like listening to much different sort of music or maybe this is the music yeah. that their parents listened to. Well, so. they they probably honestly they probably listened to what we did like. You know, Girls yeah. Generation, Super Junior, TV, TVXQ, yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Okay, or so they're I'm, a little they're older, kids. hot, or hot, and SES. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, and I'll just run through. Keys. 
Sex keys. Yeah, Jesus sex Christ. keys. <laughs> so I'll just run through the list because I kind of I don't really have much to say about like the yeah, musical yeah. songs. So it's it was bad. the one Yun Min. Side note. Side note. Before you get going. So you had the one. What happened to the two through the seven? Because we have the eight. <laughs> yeah, we have the one. Eight. Where's the two through the seven? That's like they a, all were failed that's experiments. Like, that's like a freaking <laughs> like naked gun. They made naked gun one, two, and then they, it's like thirty three and a half, third or something like that. It's just like yeah. where where are the other movies? But um, so yeah, it's the one Yun Min Su, Bobby Kim, um, Who some guys of? I didn't I get I didn't get his name. Um, Wax, which is a female singer, I Wax, believe. Wax, I've heard of. Yeah, I've only heard she of Bobby Kim and Wax so far, <laughs> like um, by name. Shin Young J and Ali, which again which is probably the only person I really heard of. Um It's Ali. Is it I I, I don't, No. I guess it it's probably pronounced Ali, but I, I forget actually How's she, it spelled? Well it's A L A L uh, A L I, so Ali? Ali. I don't know. Oh Ali, it's it's yeah. pronounced all I think it's I think she named I, I, I when I was Google doing my Google searching, I think she named it her like stage name after Muhammad Ali, so it's probably Ali. Oh, Okay, cool. Yeah, Wax I've seen on uh, variety shows before. Um, she's for for someone that's I think she when I checked her age she's in her forties I think yeah I believe. she's older she she looks amazing for her age yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought she was much younger so uh, yeah like uh, maybe it's just because the the a lot of the isn't she things. she's almost fifty isn't she yeah she's she's rel- she's rel- she's pretty up there like. So I think yeah I think one of her songs though I, I I mentioned this in the in the vlog I don't know if it if it ever goes up one day but one of the songs um that she did was just like really like old school sort of like it kind of, kind of sounded almost like eighties music where I'm just like yo I can turn this into vaporwave or like future funk or that's what that's what a lot of the music was when it was upbeat it was just like really like old time ta- like an older like time like traditional sounding uh type of music or if the if not it was just ballads or whatever um so it was pretty interesting to see like the the crowd interactions or like people reacting to um people Um, reacting to like who the who the artists ended up being um see i think most of the most of the crowd obviously most of the koreans tended to know who each of the the artists were but again they're just like yeah and then you're just like who is that (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Because again, uh, also it, I have it, to make a correction. Wax is actually forty, like yeah, exactly but forty. She's so. she looks Sorry. good for being forty. Still like, looking good really, for forty. <laughs> like really good, and her again, her voice was pretty good too. Um, I'm trying so, to figure out what uh, variety show I saw her on, but she's got another horrible stage name that's impossible to Google. Wax. <laughs> yeah. You just type Wax K-pop. No, but even it. if I search like Korean variety show, it's still giving me like random crap. <laughs> because there's hundreds of a random word wax okay um but if if i didn't mention this before but the whole show was in korean the entire show not one <laughs> so bit you of it understand it i could not understand a single <laughs> word they were saying because i do not know korean so <laughs> oh i mean like i mean like, context or so pretty much what i do is every time like so there was a host and everything and he's like kind of make jokes or from what I can tell, he was he kind of make jokes that oh, um, they'd make the artists like like say that it was spe- this concert specifically was in New Jersey and because most people would be like oh hello New York or like usually whenever concerts happen in New Jersey everyone just refers to us as New York because nobody gives a damn <laughs> about New Jersey but they made a point they were just like oh New Jersey or whatever so they make a joke and then I just like pretend to laugh at the same time everyone else did <laughs> so I didn't <laughs> you would just pretend saying. to laugh yeah, so I, I don't look weird with everyone else so or like yeah so whenever like when everyone was clapping I just I start clapping too <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> You're like nobody will know I'm not no Korean. No, I'm not. Yeah, no, nobody will. Nobody would be any the wiser. Like if they ask me my last it, name, it, I'm just Lee. Occasionally go like T-Bok when they take off their mask. I'm just like, yeah, I don't know who this is. I, I, your singing voice is amazing. I don't know, but no, Andrew. Andrew just stands up and he's just like, wow. Oh, <laughs> I hit my head. <laughs> 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 that's going on the end card um but no yeah i just imagine it's just like i'm the biggest dance like oh my god i can't believe it's this guy who is this 
<laughs> but yeah, that, that was kind of me. Just kind of, it was kind of like playing a guessing game of trying to figure out who all these people were. Or just like the thing is, though, I don't know if Shazam would work on live concerts or no, let alone with Korean artists that were pre-K-pop. So yeah, it was kind of. I yeah, pretty much. I, I highly doubt it would work. It's probably I, not even on iTunes. A lot of them. Yeah, so I did. I had to. Pretty. I, I didn't know who anyone was until the second half because they put like they showed like a clip of them because some of them were previously. I believe most or most if not all of them were previously on um, King of Mass Singer because um, uh, okay. in the second half when they started performing original songs they'd show like a, a clip of them on the show and then they'd show their name so the one or Ali or oh, Wax okay. or whatever so I'd have to keep reco- could- I'd have to keep recording thought- whose name uh, or wherever it was because I didn't know who anyone was so. Yeah, because I actually thought it was kind of strange that they had a, uh, like a, t- a tour of people who were previously on, or I, who may or may not have been previous, who weren't on there yet. So I was like, okay. So yeah, if, if they were previously on there, they were probably using their. Then again, people would already know who they were. Well, yeah, that's the thing. If, if they knew. If they use the same old costume and the same old song, people might yeah, have recognized it. So are. maybe, yeah, maybe it was, maybe they sort of did a good job of hiding it or whatever. So, yeah. God, it's it's so hard to find any information on the show because, like, I was checking through Twitter, like, King of Mask Singer, and there's only, like, one or two tweets about it. Like, I don't think they even, I don't think they even saw advertised the, it the show all. on, like, On Demand Korea or anything like that. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I again, this is, it was such a weird sort of, it was such a weird sort of situation, or I don't know why, or I don't know how it ended up that they, this sort of happened, because... I looked it up this week that they filmed the regular episode of King of Masked Singer this week. Concurrently. Or that week. I mean, but they, they... I don't know if it aired because of the whole uh, presidential uh, sort of Yeah, thing. I know a lot of music all, shows A lot of music stuff. shows took a week off to, um, for the, the news, well, but I... They probably did... wasn't worth it because everyone probably wanted off work. Yeah, but see... So yeah, they oh, celebrate. actually, it is subbed on in, on, one, on a man career. Oh, they sub it? King yeah, of Mass Singer? Oh, shit. I'll have to start watching it then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Again, the concept of the show is or the show is amazing, and I don't understand why there's no Eng- American version of this yet, because it works so well. Yeah, dude. that would I've, I bet that'd be really popular, actually, here in America. Like, put that on ABC or Fox or something. Sure, yeah. Tons of people would watch it. Yeah, t- a bunch of people would watch it. So, um, as for... Yeah. I'm trying, to, I'm trying Just, to remember other things about the concert. I mean... Yeah, they, they, they seem to, again, uh, it kind of was dragging on at, towards the end, so I was kind of getting it. Even oh, yeah, know, the guy. Four uh, hours. Yeah, the, the guy next to me, uh, it was an older, like, uh, he, like, it was an older Korean gentleman. He was just, like, dead asleep after. <laughs> <laughs> he was just, like, his, his eyes are just closed, like, leaning back or whatever. He just, like, not. Because the concert didn't end till midnight. It went from <laughs> 8 o'clock to midnight. Like oh, that's crazy. on the dot. I mean, just like that's insane when it comes to concerts. So yeah, it was pretty long. And that's fairly a long concert for, especially for something that's aimed towards an older audience. So again, it was just a really interesting concert to go to, and just again being a fly on the wall to just like how how Korean events are when it's not inundated by all us crazy Western fans. When it's just actually when again the 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 the, the breakdown was just like ninety nine percent Koreans and just. 0.8 percent non-koreans or whatever so yeah it was just it's just it was, it's just a really interesting uh sort of thing if I, i'm sure i would have enjoyed it more if i knew more pe- what's so funny nothing oh. <laughs> in the group chat <laughs> yeah, we're just like talking at the same time stop stop sending stuff in the group chat while we're podcasting there's news about ayu okay i like ayu a lot okay save it for after um <laughs> anyway so it's I'm sure I would have enjoyed, or I would have like enjoyed it more if I knew who any of these people were. And again, it, it'll be it'll, it, if anyone could help me out in terms of like figuring out oh, what the songs the artists were that they or what songs they covered. You know, please tweet at me at not that Ailey because I'm I'm really lost and I don't know Korean. So um, yeah, but I mean, it was it was it was fun. It was an, it, again, it was an interesting experience, and I'd probably I'd probably go into something like it again just so. It's sort of a ch- it's a good change of pace compared to like the the craziness that we all we usually have when it comes to K-pop concerts here in the West. I mean, I'm sure you're tired out as hell like after you get back from a K-pop concert. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, always I'm so always hyped. tired. Yeah, because it's just your energy. Well, right I mean, out. this was this was pretty draining too because it was just god awful cold. Because it was so cold. long. 
No, I mean, I it, that was. Wait, it was cold in there? Yeah, no, no, it was. Well, it was cold in the building, but it was cold because I had to walk from Penn, like Newark, Newark Penn Station to uh, the, the 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 venue. So it took like five minute oh. walk, mm. and it was it was like twenty below twenty actually. So. And I was kind of underdressed, so I my it was kind of hard to hold uh, the. I was gonna say because after that blizzard today, it was like twenty six degrees. I'll be like, ah, it's good enough to just wear a hoodie outside. Yeah, I literally no, yeah. did, and it felt like it was like fifty. No, yep. but uh, so it was kind of hard. Uh, I didn't have gloves, so I was holding this barehanded, and oh my god, my hand, I felt like my hand was about to freeze off. Like, you can hear how, you can, in the video footage, you can hear, like, how hard my breath is, because I'm just, like, it's just taking so long, or it's just taking so much of me just to walk there, but, um, just, like, yeah. I guess a quick, a quick side note, I mean, I mentioned that, or I mentioned this in the vlog, whenever, again, whenever this ends up going up, but it's actually the first time I've been back to that, that venue, the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, since... Um, I went there a long time ago when I was like, uh, like five or six years old, cause they had a. Oh really? Do you remember Radio Disney? Yeah. Yeah. They had a Radio Disney. How do you remember day. Radio Disney? Yeah, you were you were born when Radio you Disney was even like. Born. You weren't alive. Yeah, you weren't even <laughs> born when that was uh, around. But yeah, Radio Disney had a live concert there, and at 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 the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, so it was kind of nostalgic mm. being in the same place. Like, also, actually, yeah, there was Radio Disney when I was alive. <laughs> <laughs> weren't you born like ten years ago or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. No, but um, um, actually, I was born before the turn of the century. But I actually no. So that, that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, you, you you were barely born before the turn of the century. You're almost a 2000s kid. Anyway, I was I actually <laughs> so as part of that as I guess a side tangent to end this off. As part of that show, I, occur, I ended up actually going on stage because I I told a really crappy um a joke of why I think it was like why does the chicken why is the chicken scared to cross the road or why does the chicken cross the road to get to the other side and then they just added me to like or just like oh w w just tell the joke on stage or something or whatever and so I told the joke on stage and then I randomly won a bop it and so I, I cherished that bop it for like my the rest of my entire life or whatever I think it's somewhere still in my basement um yo Radio Disney gave you a bop it cause yeah, you yeah where the chicken the road. <laughs> I, I told a really that's awesome. joke Hey, I was like six. That was funny. <laughs> um, but no, if there, there was one thing that I was mad at is that so since I was a part of the to, um, since I was allowed to be uh, I was a part of the stage show. They were like I got into go in early and choose whatever seat I wanted. So I got I was sitting towards the front and like there was a part of the show where they were giving away a Nintendo 64 with oh, Pokemon man. Stadium and it was in the seat like a couple of seats over from me. I'm just like, damn, why didn't we sit over there? You just you just get up and you start screeching like Nintendo sixty four. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was. It's like the kid who gets one for Christmas. <laughs> Yo, if you've ever seen there, that video. there are people that there are people that are born after that video went viral. That's insane. There actually yeah. is. That's a, like I was watching. I was watching a freak. I don't know why, but I was watching freaking a Lincoln Park music video. I was like, wow, this is uploaded ten years ago. <laughs> Oh man! Like anyway. YouTube, YouTube's getting old now. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, King of Mass Singer. On, okay. Yeah, it was it was good. It was a good concert. Yeah, On Demand Korea has uh, shows from so, uh, just uh, the last like fifty or so episodes. So I don't okay. know when they started, but based on their episode numbers, um, episode fifty-eight to one hundred and one, which is the newest, <laughs> are subbed. So it says well, um, um, May twenty sixteen. May well, 8, like King of Mass Singer has really, really uh, short and really frequent seasons. Yeah, because it's only, so it's they're only on two like episodes their, long. They're on like their 53rd season or something like that. Yeah, they call them like generations. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, so May 8, 2016, they have subbed till now. Okay, so. so if you want to watch it, go on to Command Korea. Yeah, again, it's a it's a pretty good show. Um, and if you had a chance to go see the concert, you know, let me know. Let me let me know everyone that performed because I was I was lost because I'm not Korean. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I guess we can go on to my topic. It's a little heavy, but it's uh, it's it is relevant. I'd okay. say um, before before you start though, we gotta talk about this news. Okay, uh, there's news. So I breaking news. I use. I use fourth studio albums April twenty first. She's gonna be dropping pre release tracks on March twenty fourth and April seventh. Oh heck yes. Um and then Jamin has a random single coming out soon. 
March 20th. Jamie, please yeah, be like, rock. Like, please be rock. March 20th. So in like four days, they're just dropping a Jamin single. I'm so excited. Maybe maybe it's Station. Um, No, it just... Yeah, whatever uh, what, what, what happened... Room. Whatever happened, huh? whatever happened yeah, to Station 2? Huh? Whatever happened to Station 2? Station, station they just said March for when it's starting, so who knows. Uh, March is almost over. Yeah, we're halfway through the month. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably hear about it soon. Uh, digital single, Alive, Acoustic Ballad, Mixture Piano and String Sounds, Greeting Fans Through via v- App Broadcast on March 19th. Dang, it's not a rock song. It's not a rock Dang song, it. but it's more Jamin. It's a ballad? <laughs> It's going to be a good ballad, though. <laughs> okay. Jamin makes good songs. Okay, okay. Anyway. Now you can get on to your ridiculous but Yeah, that's what, that's what me and Nate were laughing about, because we were, like, talking, we were talking about, about it in the eyes. group chat. <laughs> well, Andrew was talking on that with Matt, King of Mass Singer. <laughs> um, anyways, so I guess uh, I'll get into my topic. It's uh, with the recent developments in... Uh, North Korea's nuclear uh, nuclear program. Um, South Korea has um, approved for the United States to set up a what is called the uh, THAAD uh, missile defense system, which is um, high. It, wait, what's T? I don't remember. <laughs> high altitude uh, area terminal, defense. Terminal high altitude area Terminals. defense system. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew all of them except for T. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Missile System, which is a defense missile system, which basically a lot of people hear about it and they think it's just, oh, they're just setting up missiles, but it's actually a system to shoot missiles down to shoot missiles. Missiles, yeah. Yeah. Yo, so it's dog, like shooting a bullet heard, with a bullet. Yo, dog, I heard you like missiles, so I bought you missiles to shoot down <laughs> to other shoot missiles. missiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who who's in that meme? Isn't that freaking Exhibit? That's Exhibit because it yeah, was that's, it, yeah. that's from Pimp My Ride. Yo, were you even yeah. alive when Pimp My Ride was around? Yeah. <laughs> you guys think I'm like five years old? Like, uh, I don't know. You are, aren't you? Anyway. Um, oh my god. Okay, so anyways, Holy crap, um, Pimp My Ride was 2007. Yes. See. So two, no, 2004 to 2007. So you're three I'm, years old. No, I wasn't. You think I was born in the same year as Somi? You think I was born in 2001? <laughs> Basically. Okay, anyways. um, Wait, was Somi born in 2001 or 2002? Yeah, 2001. Oh, one. Okay, so she's the same age as my sister then. Anyways, um, after like recent developments in the program, South Korea consented for the U.S. to install this system, which is relevant or not, it's manufactured by Lockheed Martin, which is like... It's like a half hour away from my university so a lot of kids from my university um go to work oh, there okay which is kind of cool um they're like a military contractor and they like mm. supply weapons and whatnot to the u.s military so upon that um china uh was quick to <laughs> display their discontent with it because for obvious reasons because you know you're setting up a um a missile defense system like that close to china which is the only thing between South Korea and China is North Korea, and North Korea is not that big. Yeah. yeah. So, so from, you can oh, yeah, see Korea why China could be upset. So, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I did a bit of research on this topic since it's, again, I'm, I'm not an expert on geopolitics, but it, it's pretty fascinating. So right. it's less that less that um, China's worried about them being able to detect missiles. It's that um, the... The national f- defense is at stake, they feel. Or, you know, and um, so... Thad, the the missile system, again, this might get pretty technical for a K-pop show, but the missile system itself has an insane range on its radar tracker, whereas, yep. uh, like, where, f- from what I was reading on the internet, it can just... De- like it can detect so far into China that it hit the Gobi Desert, which is like north, like near Mongolia. That's a, yeah. that's, a, that's an insane in- amount, like inland. So that's what that's yeah. China's ultimate worry, where like they that these the, like this powerful missile defense system that can detect like miles and miles thousands of miles inland yeah. into china is is like right on their doorstep so that's why there's well, there's one, a lot of opposition well, to it yeah so like well one thing it will um i guess sort of uh suppress china's own nuclear capability because mm-hmm. they could just <laughs> shoot down any nuke they want to shoot on anyone else um, yeah. God forbid that happens. And two, a missile defense system could easily be turned into a missile offense system, yeah. 
like, yeah. uh, in the event that, you know, China and the United States go to war again, like, God forbid that ever happens. Um, and so with this, um, happening, China, um, basically is declared like un unofficial sanctions on South Korea. Mm-hmm. So yeah, especially on their media. Yes. So, um, like people like Chinese people cannot travel to South Korea. Like okay. it is like illegal right now. So most of Korea's tourism comes from China. Like if you talk to like a Korean person, ask them about tourists, they usually Chinese people that are, uh, you know, visiting Korea. Yeah. So that takes away a lot of money from their tourism business. And finally, uh, the media, the topic is how this is going to like greatly affect the, uh, the tide of the Hallyu wave, as well as the uh, Korean music industry um, uh, on the home front as well. Yeah, so I guess the sort of the reasoning why um, China is sort of imposing sanctions on South Korea is because they're just like, so you're willing to take all of our business and yet... You're also willing to take the U.S.'s aid in, like, setting up this elaborate-ass defense system. So it's just, like, the they're essentially, or you can't have one and have the other yeah, at the same time. Korea's, can't have your Korea's cake got, like, a too. lose-lose, basically. Like, they need the U.S.'s help in terms of, like, defense because yep. the U.S. backs them and China technically China's backs North Korea. China's huge market. Oh, yeah, it's, I mean, they don't yeah. like North Korea a lot and what North Korea is doing, but they still back them. Yeah, it's a, it, um, th- the six party talks are fairly interesting. So for those that don't know anything about um like geopolitics or like North Korea South Korea relations, usually whenever North Korea starts shit, basically what they what they, they engage is in is six party talks, which is um talks between the U.S., South Korea, North Korea, Japan, China, and Russia. So all yep. of the all of the countries roughly that have either invested interest or like have, are actually physically located within the region in that are often sphere of involved inter- in that sphere um, of influence. Well, Jacob, your mic cut out. Yeah, is it still bad? Oh, oh yeah, no, you're, you're, okay. you're good. You're good. Okay. Um. Anyway, so yeah, it's usually Russia and China are usually they're thought of as being on North Korea's side, but really nobody's on North Korea's side. It's just that they've. They're yeah. mostly they're mostly in a position where they want North Korea to like settle down because if South Korea just obliterates North Korea off the map, it'd mean more Western influence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. spreading yeah, that's, throughout Asia. So they they kind of want to limit th- that. Oh wait, it's still that's bad. the thing okay, is they need that they need that buffer North Korea provides between the Chinese yeah, yeah, exactly. border and the South Korean border because. Say um, <clears throat> South Korea absorbs North Korea, and we just have Korea. Um, then China um, shares a border with a democratic uh, capitalist U.S. backed state. U.S. backed state, yeah. So like that could pose a threat for them if things get bad. Um, so, anyways, I like to I'd like to focus on sort of like what it does, how it's affected K-pop since this is a K-pop show, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, pre- pre- predominantly, um, so this led to this sanction led to basically i'm sure everybody's heard about it by now all the um every korean group at base or music act and i think actors as well well yeah uh, the dramas been, aren't even allowed to show like stream there anymore yeah so yeah so um everything's been banned basically every korean product and company has been banned get the hell out of china is what they're yep. telling you like um so like for example i saw this footage of uh in china there's like you know how there's always like the old old ladies what they do for fun now is they just like sing and dance in public <laughs> like in huge like is that a thing I don't know. I, yeah I yeah know they'll just like they'll just gather in a like if you go to china if there's an empty space it's filled with old ladies dancing <laughs> what? That's, that's, so weird. that's what they say apparently. i don't know anyways um there was uh since you know obviously chinese people are going to back the chinese side because it's in their best interest to um and not quite, have that missile and system. quite honestly they wouldn't know they wouldn't know any different considering how heavily censored their um right. their government is yeah right um so yeah they basically there are a bunch of what they call dancing aunties like uh just dancing and singing and uh, protesting in front of the latte stores latte really? department stores wow. in china yeah they're like don't, <laughs> don't i don't know what they're saying they're like don't buy from the store it's like <laughs> korean but, yeah because it's korean so that's one of the aftermath i guess but like um 
I was watching, uh, I think it was Just Getting News. They were like, they made a joke, like, all you have to do to get him to leave is just tell them it's a, there's a discount in the store, and then they'll just go in and buy it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you got a, you got yeah, that, a discount. That is a, I'm sorry, that's 100% true. Yo, that is 100% true. We, I, I, Asian, Asians love their bar. Like, it, I think it's just the Asian culture in general is just based around being frugal. Because, oh, again, a lot of Asian cultures are born out of just like straight poverty. So, even you could you could you could be a really successful business person, but you still trying to save that dollar, extra dollar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I guess originally the only group that was still eligible to promote in China was Tiara, which yep, I guess that's not huge. Good. Yeah. Good but that's so unfortunate because they should. Uh, I wish. Um, I guess there's recent news. I guess we can break here. Is that uh, um, TR is probably going to be disbanding soon, according to yeah, their, uh, or at least the their company for sure. Yeah. So, which just sucks because you'd think they'd want to milk as much of this opportunity as possible since they have no competition. Yeah. Yeah. To go against. Well, I mean, I think it's more of the members goes. just ready to move on. No, right, yeah, right. Cause they, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah. talked about the the whole like mess. Twin snakes. Yeah, the twin snakes <laughs> yeah it keeps yeah. coming back. Now yeah. you got the whole. Sh- Did you guys read about shampoo? Wait, shampoo. what? So apparently, uh, one of one of Tiara's like hair hair stylists was on a variety show recently, and apparently, yeah. Hua Young referred to all their hairstylists as shampoo. Oh yeah, hey, hey, like shampoo. come here, shampoo. Like, like hey. she wouldn't call them by name. She would literally refer them. God, as shampoo. why does it? Why did, <laughs> That's so what, funny what, though. What why do you wrong? call somebody shampoo? <laughs> what is wrong with these people? But yeah, so apparently that's a thing. Yeah. Completely insane. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess that's just a shame. I guess with the circumstances that everybody's so stressed out, like, because uh, I guess if everybody was still in, they could totally like get tons of money off of it, and yeah. uh, like I guess. Now that the Huayang stuff is out of the way, they could have grew back to yeah. maybe close to where they were, well, I guess. Well, this is all after one more release, so they do have one more round of promotions. Hmm. Yeah, so who knows? Maybe people will change their minds, too. You never know. Yeah, and who knows um, Who knows if, again, who knows if this uh, if this measure might get overturned, barring any changes. But yeah, he's, uh, right. I guess the unfortunate side effect is that a bunch of like idols or actors get caught in the crossfire. Or it just puts people at odds against each other. Um, I guess yeah. something that actually broke as today as of filming this podcast was that Mix was disbanding due to this, um, due to this, uh, like the Thad and uh, yeah, yeah. anti missile sort of thing. Because they, ha- I believe, they have like three Chinese members. So logistically, yeah, three out of the four members are Chinese, I believe. Yeah, so logistically speaking, it wouldn't have worked, and obviously they want to stand in solidarity with their home country. So yeah, again, it's just, yeah. it's just a really unfortunate sort of situation. Uh, yeah, that, although uh, rumors are saying that it's more about a Chinese investor that backed out. Um, yeah. Of the group, so like yeah. it might not specifically be because of all these bans and sanctions, but <laughs> yeah, or like it, yeah, it's just. Again, they want to hit them where it hurts in terms of like financial and business, um, well, sort of. I mean, taxes if, or, if, or sanctions. So they, I guess, and obviously that because I believe Mix was co, it was it was co uh, managed by a, a Korean uh, entertainment company and a Chinese entertainment company, and the Chinese side of that obviously backed out of the deal. Yeah, because they yeah. Didn't, they didn't want they had they probably had to. Yeah, they probably it, can't yeah. Do business or it, in Korea it, it was probably like heavily encouraged for Chinese um, foreign investors to back out of uh, out of Korea, lest they you know lest they like disrespect you know their own their own government or whatever. So yeah, yeah, again, it's just sucking again. It's it sucks how. Like K-pop and just like all this like artistic stuff just gets caught in the crossfire of this geopolitics nonsense. Well, here's the thing: is that China is definitely in a position to damage the K-pop industry because um, I don't remember exactly where I read this, but I'm pretty sure um, I read this somewhere. Was that like China consumes like some something like forty percent of all he like Hallyu products? Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's well- like. I think a lot of that's drama, off. though. Like, yeah, but it's still, China, like, it, China yeah, because I think in China, Korean I think drama. in China, like C pop or or, or yeah. Mandarin um, pop is still more popular. But definitely, oh, it definitely is. But uh, yeah, it's but not in the but mainstream it, level. But again, yeah, K pop K pop has started to pick up steam again, which is why 
you see a lot more again what that's why you saw exo have an entire mandarin group that's why yeah. you see a lot of more chinese promotions because again china's china china's such china having like a 1 billion plus population 2 billion plus population or whatever at this point you know they, they they're naturally just going to be in a, a, a gigantic market to to sell to yeah so, yeah yeah again it's just it's just a weird, like, sort of, like, messed up sort of situation that, that we find ourselves in. And, again, it's just, it's a rational action, obviously. China wants to work in their best interest. And, obviously, I'm right. sure if South Korea or if China had done something similar where they set up uh, a missile defense system that could um, that could detect well inside South Korean borders, they'd they'd withdraw all of their investment or their sort of K-pop promotions from China. It's just, obviously... With how the government is in South, in not, not South Korea. I mean, in China, it's just going to be a rational. It's going to be rational actions that sort of get misconstrued by like, government propaganda. So it might. I just really hope it doesn't turn to, into sort of a nationalism thing where they're just like, oh, you know, don't don't, don't support other yeah, countries. Yeah, products. don't consume South Korean um, or Korean media because you're you're you're. you're you'd be like supporting the enemy or that sort of thing. So, I, I, right. but um, I, there's probably a good chance that that's how the government might, might spin it again. I don't know. I don't know the inner workings of Chinese propaganda. <laughs> so, but that's probably how they'd spin it to, to, to make, to make it again, make Korea look like the bad guys. Though, I think it's definitely making a big impact though. Cause like, as far as the big three goes, like uh, YG stock, like immediately dropped like 11.3%. Wow. When the band started. And then SM and JYP also lost over 6% themselves as well. Wow, I didn't know it yeah, would have uh, an effect on the stock market too. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, because, I mean, if you if you can't uh, tap into that big market, I'm sure stocks, a lot yeah. of stock investor, er, investors are probably like, well, I'm selling that because yeah. it's going gonna, it's gonna to go down. Again, though, I think we mentioned this before, but this, sort, this band has sort of been an opportunity or it seems like they've been... Um, making a shift in terms of where to focus or focusing more on Japan and here in the West because they've they've lost yep. out on the Chinese market essentially. So yeah, again, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see if that keeps going forward with China essentially out of the game at this point. Well, that's where I was going to go into is uh, sort of where they're going to shift their focus to. Right, well, um, before you bring that up, so I okay. don't know, if, did you read into any like how this affects Chinese idols in k-pop groups so like no, i was trying uh, to find stuff sure, like that again, like, i was I trying to find stuff might, like, might like that because i couldn't find anything though okay, I'm, your, I'm thinking... your mic cut out that whole time oh is it still it's still out it's like going in and out like just intermittently you're fine now yeah but yeah it, it's okay. like popping in and out of all I'm just going to try to be closer to my mic, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Um, anyways, uh, apologies for that on anyone in the audio if, if it's being bad. But anyways, um, I was trying to find stuff about it like on the internet, but I couldn't see anything. Um, I'm assuming it doesn't affect uh, most of them because they already have like green cards and whatever. Yeah. So they can just stay in South Korea. Because yeah. at that point, they're, they actually, I'm pretty sure they're outside of China's jurisdiction since they're yeah. not actually within their border. Okay. Um, like but I don't think weird you can about just... the ones that are working in China. Like Victoria yeah. is doing stuff in China. Oh, that's um, true. Is, it, is she in like a drama or something? Or yeah, she's in a drama. And then um, Miki from Uju Sonio is also doing like a drama, and she's been in China for a while. So like, yo, if they take away, if they take away Cheng Shao, I'm gonna be so yeah. sad. I don't like, take... I'm just curious don't, what. Don't take away my bay, please, please China. Or what if they decide they want to quit and go back home? Like that's. Oh, yeah, yeah that, like uh, that's very possible. Yeah, again, it's just it's just very It'd be weird. Again, it's just the culture clash. It usually, for the most part, it usually gets glossed over, and people tend to like have no aversion to Chinese members. But when politics rears its ugly head in again, like when remember, um, both countries are very nationalistic. Yeah, so definitely. It's very easy to- yeah, it's, it's inc- yeah, it's very easy for them to butt heads, and because rem- I, I, I'm often or this reminds me of the situation with Faye and a bunch of other Chinese artists back when, um, I think China was like having a public dispute over, yep, um, uh, one of the islands in the South China yeah. Sea, which technically speaking, I believe, uh, is like, or like, 
like in terms of geography, it was, the island itself is closer to like the Philippines and like other like Southeast Asian countries. But China, but China was, insists it's theirs. Yeah, China right. was claiming it as theirs. So a lot of like Chinese uh, K-pop artists were. Like, I remember Faye specifically put, like, a picture, like, saying, like, oh, like, we were one China, and then she put, like, included those islands, so there was a huge controversy around this, and it kind of affected her comeback, uh, or her, her solo debut, where there's just a huge bunch of dislikes, because, again, a lot of... As much, uh, yeah, Ch- Southeast Asian fans are yeah, mad about it. Yeah, Southeast Asia is just an incredible, incredibly large like market for K-pop, so they didn't take too kindly yeah. to, like, Chinese or uh, K-pop artists insisting that um, you know, a place where a bunch of like, you know, like Filipinos or like, uh, I don't know, like uh, a bunch of like Thai, like, other, yeah. other islands, like the, in that vicinity, like they didn't like insisting that that was a part of China. So, um, hmm. yeah, uh, they did a similar thing with, uh, Joe Me from super junior M like he also came out with a song like around the same exact time. They're also trashing him too, though. I don't think he actually said his opinion. So I think they're like trying to force him to, but he just didn't cause and then ended up them just giving him like hella dislikes on the YouTube mm-hmm. video uh, for his mm-hmm. new MV, which doesn't help because he's not that popular either. Um, like like compared to Henry, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, so. And I mean, obviously, again, going going back to sort of like Chinese controversies in terms of K-pop, there was this this Zuyu situation where. Yeah, Zuyu. Ugh. That was a mess. That was a mess. Because essentially, it's it, her, essentially her words got misconstrued in terms of. Uh, well, she didn't even <clears throat> speak. All she did was hold up a Taiwanese flag. Well, yeah, her intent. Yeah, yeah, her intent was, was yeah, just like because. And it wasn't even like her choice. It was given yeah, to her by the variety show. And I mean, like, like again, because pretty much to China, to, to mainland China, or like anything that's outside of like Hong Kong and Taiwan, even the acknowledgement of Taiwan. With the name yeah, Taiwan, the flag state. of Taiwan, um, as as existing is um, is sacrilegious to them. And um, just for the record, you know, again, I'm Chinese. I, I I recognize the existence of Taiwan, so I'm sorry, Chinese government, if you're watching. Um, well, they um, well, the thing is, they both believe that they're China. They are the true China. And I mean, because yeah. Taiwan is the Republic of China, and then there's the People's Republic of China, China. which is the communist version. Yeah. Um, and I mean, in, which is China in today. Taiwan is essentially when the for those that don't know Taiwan or the origins of uh, Taiwan being its own sovereign nation is that um, after the communist takeover, all of the all the of democratic. yeah all of the democratically elected officials um, in China um, took exile uh, on that island. So yeah, that's why um, yeah, that's why yeah. they make be- they both make claims to being China. So it's it's a it's yeah. a it's a rough complicated sort of situation where if if you have acknowledge if you acknowledge the existence of Taiwan or calling it Taiwan um, puts you in hot water with the Chinese government or anything Chinese. Like in terms of sports, Taiwan they have to be referred to as Chinese Taipei. Or, yep. or else they'll get in trouble. Or like when in the yeah, Olympics, yeah. they have to be referred to as Chinese. Yep, in Taipei. the Olympics, yeah. Yeah, so it's 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 again, it's it's really like interesting sort of situation that they find themselves in. It's it's really due to China's uh like as a nation, their nationalism. They're very very and again, um uh like vehemently set pro China. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, I think it's because they're sort of. Like, because of the sort of communist regime, like the all the propaganda and whatnot, they yeah. have to be, or else... Yeah, and most yeah. people don't really don't know anything other, otherwise. We're speaking against the government. They'll, they'll, they'll deport you or they'll, they'll torture you. God, you know, God forbid. But, um, yeah, again, it's just, it, it's just an interesting situation to see how, like, all of this... All of this stuff involving China just, uh, uh, like, sp- always finds a way to leak itself into K-pop. Just, like, in the randomest yeah. of well, ways. I mean, Superpower Chinese and the influence. closest one. Yeah, yeah I'll, 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 K-pop is huge. Got yeah, I'll, obviously, like China's 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 the big uh, the big dog in the Asian region because just because oh, well. of sheer land mass and. Yeah. Well, I think honestly, also Korea, South Korea specifically, South Korea and Japan specifically, but more so South Korea, are they're like stuck in sort of a catch twenty two. Oh yeah. Do, who do you want to side with? Because it's sort of. Either because China and the United States are the superpowers right now, mm-hmm. yeah. and they both stand on opposite sides of the most world. issues. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. you kind of got to pick one or like or know what it. Yeah, um, and, and they're and, both usually lean towards us because 
They're both yeah, democratic. Because again, yeah. Well, also, because the United States always has always been there and taken. Yeah, their again, side. Well, yeah. We, we China the, was against like, South Korea in the Korean War. Yeah, in the Korean War, they they, they fought against yeah. each other. So it's there's yep. there's like long standing there's long standing animosity there. But again, it's interesting to yeah. see how, despite the animosity between China and Japan, or like the like because of occupation and everything, Japan obviously. Japan obviously has great interest in not seeing South Korea get wiped off the map because Japan would be next. Because Japan's like literally like you can yeah. take you can take boats yeah. from uh, Korea to Japan. So yeah, um, yeah. So uh, again, like South Korea, um, I saw a video online. Like there's uh, like that's actually I think a common issue that people debate about, like mm-hmm. in their politics, is who who like is better to side with, the United States or China. And you sort of get a mixed response because you don't really know who. Because a lot of yeah. people are like, well, we think that China is going to overtake the United States in terms of power. And the yeah. other people are like, no, the United States is going to stay in power. There's no way they're mm-hmm. going to get yeah, kicked yeah. off, number yeah. one. And stuff like that. Or like, oh, this one's got this best interest for us. This one's got the other. Yeah. So it's it's very interesting. Um, and we both need each other because yeah. we buy all the stuff they make. Yeah, essentially, so, yeah. and we, we need we, their stuff. They need our money. Yeah, we they need our we, IP. We employ, basically. we employ like hundreds of millions of uh, Chinese um, factory workers, for better or worse. So I mean, yep. it's it, again, it's it's such a again, the U.S.-China relations is such an it's just a fa- such a fascinating topic. Much like how, much like how U.S. Uh, it's a, essentially it's another Cold War or just like a proxy war, essentially via like. An means economic of, war. Yeah, it's, it's an it's an economic war essentially, <laughs> much like what China's doing to like South Korea now, where they're they're trying to, it, you're not trying to deprive them of like land mass or like by like or like firing artillery, you're trying to deprive their economy essentially. And my yeah. my only experience with this sort any sort of like geopolitical stuff is playing Civilization. <laughs> so literally, <laughs> this is the yeah you, you, this is you, you could you in Civilization you could still. You have like people that like might be like you consider enemies, but you still trade with them to some degree, or you everyone has like inside men or whatever. So it's so it's always so fascinating. And again, again, <laughs> what the to put it into civ terms, essentially what China's trying to do is prevent. China's trying to prevent Korea from getting a, a cultural victory by spreading K-pop, uh, by spreading K-pop well, culture, around the world. Culture war is a big thing, actually. Yeah, definitely. And, and it's just yeah, it's just. It's so fascinating again how again for K pop has more so here in the West than the East. Yeah, K pop has yeah. such a or K pop is such a uniting sort of factor in a way where usually again where most countries would have animosity towards each other, they don't really seem to mind, you know, promoting or releasing songs in Japan or China or that sort of thing, or having members right. from Japan or China or whatever, because again it, it's just it, supports th- their bottom line business. Yeah, and because I think K-pop and music in general does a very good job of transcending, you know, political climates, or for better or worse. But again, it's, yeah. it's, it's. I mean, even in North Korea, they'll set up the speakers and blast freaking four minute across the. Board. Yeah, which is amazing because again, it's just like again, that's why, for a lot of these, you know, communist or like totalitarian regimes, what they're very afraid of is the spread of culture because outside information. Yeah, yeah again, you know, like these sort of songs and music that sort of like opens your eyes or like makes you th- uh makes you think in a different perspective you know that's well, be like oh that's why don't the we ball. have happy music like that why do why don't we yeah have free that's expression? sort of yeah you, that's that sort of gets the ball rolling in terms of you know revolution just one tiny a tiny seed that hey we we mentioned this or uh, yeah in that vice documentary that nate and i watched there was a there was a feature of a guy who would like make bootleg air balloons fill them with hundreds of thousands of k-pop cds and just send them into north korea yeah again, so he was a he was a north korean defector that he and they would they wouldn't like mask the the cds so they looked like korean north korean probably like media game. and yeah so and then when they would put them in these air balloons that would go across the border and drop them and if people found them, then they could play them in their homes, like and, secretly. And the tragic thing he was, he mentioned that he said that because of him doing this, he has no idea whether or not his family might be in an internment camp or tortured or, or even killed because right. of, yeah. because of what he's doing. But again, he's just it's just so important of a thing. Again, just like I guess you know for for his low brow or his uh, like like 
I don't know. It, you really wouldn't think that K-pop would have any sort of like geopolitical influence on the world, but again, just like it, it's 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 always it's just always fascinating to see just how much of an influence just pop music has in general on just exposing people to culture or new ideas in this sort of way. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, one thing I guess one like more like major point that I have is so. On if you look on Wikipedia, they have a whole page on the Hallyu wave, and yeah. they have this graph called the Hallyu index, and it basically shows like uh, what stage, um, like how if they're like irrelevant or mainstream, uh, three like columns, and then there's rows as to like how fast they're growing, whether <laughs> there's like not very much growth, whether there's medium growth or rapid growth, and uh, so China is on the decline. And they're not mainstream just because there's so many people in China and there's so many probably different things there. That's probably why it gets so much sales in China is because there's so much people. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be mainstream to make tons of money. But anyways, um, in Japan, uh, it's in the diffusion, what's called the diffusion stage. Like it's in between like irrelevant and mainstream. And again, I I think it'll probably start leading towards more relevancy with more groups focusing their eyes on chi- on Japan's with the loss of China. So, well, that's the thing is what I was gonna go uh, say was like um, actually K-pop is on the decline in Japan mm. as far as the growth uh, goes, and uh, it's in the same stage as the United States. So, but the United States is in the rapid the growth rap- category, category yeah. and it's gaining more and more influence. So I'm. Um, I think I'm almost thinking that these companies are going to start to see that there's a growing market in the United States and they're going to start to shift their focus over there more and more with Mm -hmm. uh, more and more collaborations with artists and uh, some station. That was a big thing that they were promoting for station two was collaborations with international artists. Mm. Yep. So like, I think they're going to start to uh, sort of aim towards the West more than uh, actually Japan. But I guess we'll see in the future. And you know what? Jap- you know what's an actual? Is any are any Middle Eastern countries listed on this? Um, I don't think so. But I know, I know, uh, it is it is pretty popular with um, like there's a lot of Muslim K-pop fans. Like, but I'm not yeah. sure if they're I, mostly I know, from Indonesia. Again, there was a or not. there was a um Dubai K-pop con, which is insane. Oh yeah, considering, yeah. They did, like, they did. Again, it's just considering just how like. They all show up in Lamborghinis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because again, <laughs> Dubai and like all, all those like U- Arab Emirates sort of like countries where yeah. everyone's filthy, stinking rich, and because uh, of all the oil money. Yeah. yeah. All that so oil it, money. It, it'll, again, it's just stuff. It's fascinating that K- even K-pop's reach was able to like make an influence out there, and where it's traditionally well, a very conservative um, sort of uh, culture with society. Yeah. Remember with Islam. AOA me- Aoi Mina is getting married to an oh. Iranian actor. So. Uh, that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he just like told everybody that he was getting married to Aoi Mina. And then she's like, I have I no idea yeah, who that is. FNC was like, she doesn't, no one knows who this guy is. <laughs> But hey, shout outs to shout outs to people who listen to K-pop in Iran because I know I know they're really like strict in terms of their speaking of like tyrannical For governments sure. or whatever. So um, there was actually uh, sort of a side tangent. I'm speaking of like I guess the influence of music and sort of political revolution. But um, there was this Iranian rock group that I discovered. Like I forget the name their name or whatever, but. They all have to use aliases because they, they they obviously live here in the United States now because they defected yeah. from, from Iran. But they all have to use aliases because if they use their family names, all of again all of their family all members, their family back, will be found. Yeah, back, again, all their family back at Iran would be uh, would be um, grounded up by the government and tortured and everything. So yeah, it gets, it's just yeah, it's it, music is a very 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 powerful medium in terms of just influencing socio-political change so yeah i think it's really interesting i guess the uh the sort of relationship between uh music the music industry on uh, culture the i guess what we call the culture war on uh the relations between china and south korea because music is south korea is one of their biggest uh exports, exports other yeah. than maybe like cars and electronics bones and, yeah assuming uh, they don't catch on fire <laughs> Galaxy Note Seven. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, like it, you know, you know the FAA. Uh, there's an FAA regulation that if you bring that on a plane, 
they'll yeah, they can arrest you. Can't. Yeah, because when I was flying yeah. when I was flying down to Florida the um like in December, they say at the beginning of the flight, if you have a Galaxy Note Seven, please inform one of the uh please inform one of the flight attendants or whatever because you're literally you're, legal, you're legally not allowed to fly with it. So anyway, <laughs> uh, God. So yeah, I guess uh, that's that was my topic for this week. Um. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a history yeah. sort of like topic, but again, I. I but though, if there's one plastic point I have to make, somebody, somebody out there, somebody I know, there's some smart like civilization modder out there. Somebody make a mod so that you can play as South Korea and you can get a cultural victory by infecting everyone with K-pop, infecting every <laughs> other, every other like uh, like nation with K-pop. I mean, you almost can in Civ Five. Like, you can use like scholars and information and stuff. Yeah, but... or no, yeah. or no. Um, one maybe one of their wonders should be the the Olympic Stadium, and it just blasts K-pop while you're playing. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So somebody make that mod. That'd be amazing for Civ. Or Japan gets Tokyo Dome. You you can you can zoom in on it and you see SNSD performing inside of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, why SNSD? Why not Perfume? They, they... Because SNSD is perfect. Yo, Perfume sold out Tokyo Dome like four times. Doesn't matter. Yeah, there's right. a K-pop show. Get your weeaboo <laughs> shit out of here. <laughs> well, actually, no. Actually, no. You know who? You know what sells out Tokyo Dome a lot? Um, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. They literally hold a show there every year. And wait, it's... they have, wait. Japan has like a WWE type thing. You kidding me? Like New Japan Pro Wrestling is probably like more if among hardcore like wrestling fans, it's probably more like prestigious even than WWE. Really? Because pretty much. Is it real? Yeah, no, or is it still, like, obviously it, it's it's staged, but they're they're less they're less strict about like hiding the fact that it's staged or like they they everyone oh. acknowledges that they have stage name. But most popular wrestlers here in America or here in WWE get poached or, like, from inspired. or no they get poached they they get straight up get oh, hired crap. away from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Wow. Hmm. Speaking of, I've been I've actually been interested in whether or not like what if whether or not there's like much Korean pro wrestling. I don't like. I'll have to do some research on that for a future. Wait, topic. wasn't uh, Kang Ho Dong? Wasn't he a wrestler? Um, no, he was a shooter, he was a shooter wrestler. He was like an actual Korean wrestling wrestler. Oh, like a real wrestler. Okay, like, yeah, like, like the yeah. thing that they do in in variety shows all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I'll have to do some research on whether or not um, how popular pro wrestling is in Korea because that'd be fascinating. Because I'm, I, I don't know if there's ever. I'll have to look up the history and whether or not I feel like it would be totally crazy if they did have Yo, it crazy. would be because yeah. again, New Japan Pro Wrestling is so off the chain where everything is just like so extravagant where um, again, everyone just has crazy characters and or they they do a lot of tag matches or they have elaborate it, it, like, King of Masked Singer is essentially like what New, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling is where you just have crazy ma- <laughs> everyone has crazy like there's a there's a famous wrestler like they're all like luchadors and yeah it's like something like that where there's a really famous wrestler named Jushin Thunder Liger and he has this like a crazy like dragon <laughs> looking sort of like thing so Lucian would, Thunder Liger Jushin Thunder oh Liger um Liger is he like Chinese or something no 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 he's, he's a Japanese guy he's, he's pretty oh. good but um again like whoever has any influence in like the the Korean market, someone start a, like a Korean World Wrestling Federation, and I will watch every second of it. You can get back into China with it. Trust me, it'll work. And no, imagine if like and like how they have um how they have uh like I don't know like K-pop in between StarCraft uh, games or whatever. Imagine just having K-pop acts <laughs> during uh during like pro the, wrestling matches. Or no, imagine if there was a pro wrestler with like his his sort of like his uh. His concept was that he's a he's a K-pop star that wrestles part time or something like. Oh, I should just I should just save all this and start my own like wrestling promotion. Okay, I'll. He dresses up like a girl group member. And <laughs> his yeah. interest is the G. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Anyway, yeah, China, Korea. Anyway, yeah, um, that was our show for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah. All our podcasting links are down in the description. Uh, yeah. f- like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow us on Twitter, and yeah. uh, tune in next week. Last minute, um, so unboxings. So that yes. unboxing's already up. Card, card, card. cards up. I'm Game not unboxing this, but I want to show it off. There's um, literally like nothing to unbox. It's just a CD. Oh, so the, this is the, this is the <laughs> world, the, ex- Olympics, the world so. exclusive unboxing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there you go. There's the unboxing. This right unboxing's there. already up. So Dreamcatcher's <laughs> Nightmare. And then in the future sometime, we got this unboxing. G-Friend. Military G-friend. edition. Military edition of The Awakening. We got Google these unboxings. 
Yeah, coming up. Oh, oh wait, and well, first well, of all, wait, shout outs to Nate's dog during the middle oh. of the video. <laughs> so obnoxious. Oh. <laughs> so when Did I was you at, keep it in? No, you know, when I'm I'm, I'm going to add it in a blooper reel one day, but um so <laughs> part, part of the video like he was trying to um record part of the video and his dog just he keeps just barking, just barking for a good like 2 <laughs> minutes. It's so I was funny. I was saying it was literally for like 2 minutes. I was just sitting there waiting for it. <laughs> you were sitting there just like Yep, and then, and then you think it stops, <laughs> and, and he's just like, Ruff, say, Ruff. <laughs> um, and last but not least, to uh, piss Jacob off. Okay, Dude, um, mine, mine is still in China right now. All right, everyone, tweet at Yes Asia. Where is Jacob Burritt's um his <laughs> copy of Tayan's My Voice? It's impossible yeah. to to describe the same three photo shoots fifty billion times. Because literally, there's just like three photo shoots worth of photos in here. It's just over and over again. So okay. it's like oh, the black really? and white one. There's the red and green one, and yeah, then you like, don't have to describe each photo. Like, oh, look at this green dress uh, yeah, she's got. I don't on. know. So yeah, <laughs> at, at one point I was just like, if you want to just mute me and look at the pictures, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, um, so, both yeah. unboxings will go up sometime in the near future, or may already be up by the time this goes up. So, so yeah, goodbye. On you. Oh. Andrew. Don't you do didn't it. do it yet. Do it. Do Creamy, it. you must stay. I'm Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's it. That's How it. Dare you. Did Obviously, you happen to see and yeah? Did huh? you happen to see any uh, misuse of firearms in the music video? <laughs> yes, lots of it. <laughs> <laughs> the best um, drinking game rule. <laughs> just like yeah. anyone, anyone misusing a firearm in a video. Yeah, the K-pop just... music video drinking game is something I found on Reddit like years ago. And <laughs> that's one of the best.